Go Jazz Hands. We are live. I hope you got your big girl panties on. This is episode 102 of the Who Moved My Freedom podcast right there. Uh, we are live from the Big Daddy Gun Studios. We Tonight's episode, I'm calling Patrick versus Patrick. Oh, God. But Don't. we apparently only have one Patrick so far. So who's the best one already? Um, you know you're the best, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got Babyface P, otherwise known as Patrick. Just trying to get everything set up. i got to pop the chat is. out. And... Yeah, Patrick R. should be joining us soon. I think he's uh, getting some things like getting some things sorted out. He should be jumping on here and joining us while we're in here. What's up to everyone out there in the chat? What's going on, guys? Um, I hope everyone out there is clicking the thumbs ups and sharing this video, letting your friends and family know that we're here. Let's try to break a thumbs up record tonight. What? Ooh, seven, you got to try five. to do it. And, then, and when you're sharing the video, I think we should start a new hashtag. We should do hashtag jazz hands. <laughs> you know, hashtag jazz hands. So, <laughs> so when you put it out there, do hashtag jazz hands. Let's hashtag see what happens. Big girl panties. Big girl panties. Yeah, that's another <laughs> one. Hashtag big girl panties. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let's do that too. <laughs> Hashtag big girl panties. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so, uh, I hope I spelled that right. I have no uh, idea. Let's look at some gun news while you're while you're piddling. Yeah. So, all right. So let me let me do the shout out to everyone who's here in the chat right now. JGT four zero seven. He was number one tonight in the chat. What's up? JGT407, um, I think this is the first time I'm seeing him in the chat, and plus this is the first time maybe that he's in here. So there you go. Or I've just not seen him before. Kentucky Firearms Network's also in here. He says, he says, is uh, Lola, uh, Lola and I, are we coming for steaks when his steaks get in? Uh, he's in Kentucky, but yes, I would love to have some steaks when I'm in Kentucky. Lola says, cook it, ship it to her. <laughs> I don't know if that'd be any good when it showed yeah, up. So it's going to be. Ugh. Either that or the people shipping it would have eaten it along the way. <laughs> so Joe Carp. in an envelope, put a, put a stamp yeah, on it. Like, hmm. That'll the work. Do the, the dogs that they have somewhere <laughs> sniffing the packages are going to go straight for it. Out real quick. Yeah. Joe Carpenter also in here. What's up? Uh, LB Louis Cypher as well. What's going on? Tango Hunter, Archangel. Uh, let's see, Yak Yak 94, Yak Yaker 94, I should say. And let's see who else, TKO 593, TKO 593, what's going on? Um, let me see who else is in here in the chat. I'm trying to scroll down. There's a good conversation going on here about something, but I'm missing out on it. Um, flat Earthers, they're, they're talking about the Flat Earth. Jackson Olden. Oh, the Flat Earth thing? You know, because the sun is directly above us. Oh, <laughs> Meredith Mayhem. <laughs> What's up uh, to Meredith Mayhem? Um, let's see who else. Who, who's who's new in here? Ooh. Nathan Griffin. What's going on, Nathan Griffin? Michael Bender. The Tyven Show is in here. Chris B. Rick Day. Edward Andrews. What's going on, Matt J? What's up, Vanessa Kitty? Metal Mask Militia as well in here. Um, MW Tactical, Lola says. Uh, Mike Summerall. Uh, what is this? Build Ward C. Bill Ward C. I don't know. Chris Gibson. Safety Harbor Firearms is, uh, he says he's having some bears with his motor vehicle buddies. So um, he's having a good time. Have some bears on us. Yeah. Enjoy the bears. Car Carrier also in, in here. Colin Simpson. There we go. I think that's it. If I missed anyone, just uh, just let me know. I think I said J. Didn't I say JGT four hundred seven? So there you go. Oh, here's there's a whole bunch of new people coming in right now. These I carry my revolver, laws. huh? These gun laws in Cali suck. I carry my revolver has a black nose. Is that you, Hank? Um, no. Uh, black nose and some eyes. <laughs> yeah. You know, I don't know what. You don't see uh, it. <laughs> Yeah, I see that. I don't know what it means. So it's like I'm watching you or something like that. You know. So you watching them? Oh, or it's black nose. Unless I carry my revolver is also black, which is possible. I don't know. Yeah, we have no idea. Yeah. And you know, we don't discriminate. 
Yeah. So, so a bit of news. Are you you ready for some news? Um, uh, give me one second. Uh, Chris Gibson is also in here, and Bisco Consulting. He says he's new. So what's Bis up? Quick Consulting. Is it uh, Bisco? No, I'm making fun of Bis Quick. Is it's the stuff uh, you make like pancakes? Yeah. <laughs> also, yeah, Lockjaw is also in here. That looks like someone who I think is new. What's going on? Uh, Morpheus W. So what's up, everyone? Click the thumbs up. Share this video. You know, let's get our audience up and going tonight. Let's get as many thumbs ups as we can. Remember, when you share the video, do hashtag Big Girl Panties and hashtag Jazz Jazz Hands. There you go. <laughs> so, <laughs> I see Mr. Holster, Highway Run seventy seven, Jolly Roger USA. Got some new people, Jordan Poole. What's up to everyone? Okay, Babyface, what's your news? Let us. Let's uh, CMP. Let's see. They were saying on the Truth About Guns. CMP has announced that they are uh, bringing back 86,000 M1 grants from the Philippines um, as the Philippine government no longer uses them. I hope the Philippine government no longer uses them. So along next year, along with the 1911s that will hopefully hit the CMP, mm -hmm. um, another 86,000 M1 grants that they have to go through and, and do everything, grade them and sell them and everything will be hitting the U.S. Army Depot and then uh, straight on their way to the CMP to be sold off. So... Because for anybody that's been looking to buy a Garand, the Garands have been drying up like crazy lately. They're, the CMP has been running out of Garands to sell. So okay. they're going to get another 86000 next year, which is a, a pretty awesome. It's a good deal. Um, but go buy a Garand. Everybody needs to own a Garand. Yeah, I don't have one. I probably need to get uh, Ooh, You need to go buy yourself a Garand. Holy shit. Yeah. So I see some other news. It looks like Cimarron announced the 1851 Navy Percussion Peacemaker Revolver. I love that gun. So, yeah, I'm going to need to buy one of those. <laughs> so what's good, the thing about the... This is a good way to get the... into black powder, because I don't think either of us have anything black powder, do we? No, I don't. Well, I don't. I don't. Yeah. I need to. Um, I mean, obviously, we shot the Maxim 50, but that belongs to Big Daddy Guns. Wait, Tango Hunter, wait, is the M1 the rifle that shoots the 30 carbine or does it shoot the 308? It shoots neither of those. It shoots the 30 out 6 unless you have one of the converted 308 receivers, which don't do that. Okay. Uh, the M1 carbine is the one that shoots the 30 carbine. Okay. Very cool. Uh, yeah, I watched the video of the, the Sport 2 meltdown. Melted down a sport. Two. Oh, um, so <laughs> is that IB8888? Yeah, he the melted one to video? The Was it good? I haven't seen it. It's like all the other meltdowns. He melts a gun down. Like, <laughs> Where, what point? I think what's important there is what point did it melt down? Eight hundred and fifty rounds of full auto fire. A full auto. Oh, didn't okay. blow. A, didn't blow a gas tube. The barrel started to droop. Merle started to droop a little bit, but uh -huh. um, I wasn't. I didn't watch the whole video. I just saw. I, I skipped ahead to the the mark where it fails. Um, it was like eight hundred fifty rounds with a full auto lower, and. Mm. Um, the plastic handguard was like literally on fire and like melting off. Um, it was it was pretty cool. So yeah, well, that's um, good information to have. I mean, yeah, I think I think if you're if you are gonna punish a gun, I would go with one of those Adams Arms pistol kits or whatever pistol upper or piston uppers rather. Okay, because you want to see, but I think that's still good information to know that if you shot one of those full auto at eight fifty. That's what I mean. Happen, full auto, like torturously full auto, like as quick as you can stick mags into the gun. Mm -hmm. Most yeah. people, I don't think anybody would ever do that. Yeah, I think those are good things to do. I know people always get all crazy or whatever, but how much was that gun? Do you know what? Yeah, that that's gun the other thing. It's like a four hundred fifty dollar gun. It's oh, base level. Yeah, yeah. So that's, for, still, for, that's pretty good, relatively. For four hundred dollar gun, yeah, I'd say it was pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> lots of things. Uh, Vanessa Kitty says. Uh, Many things melt at full auto, which is true. Yeah, that's exactly. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Car carrier says did really well, especially for a budget one. Uh, another piece of random news: If anybody is in the Florida, Central Florida area, you may have seen that they caught the guy, the Tampa Bay murderer. There was a yeah. guy that was in uh, um, Seminole Heights who was killing people. He killed four people within the last four months, and they finally caught him yesterday because yeah. he gave his gun. To a coworker at McDonald's. At McDonald's. Yeah, we talked about this yesterday. Did you guys talk about this? Yeah, you missed it. You uh, you apparently <laughs> didn't come on until we started talking about you. Uh yeah, I was busy blueing some blueing some parts. Yeah, that my <laughs> kept the, the gun parts blued. Yeah. But yeah, it's just like. Yeah. Well, I think he was planning on running that? away. He gave the gun to his coworker, thinking that he would 
like they would turn it in or something like that. But he, but after he left, I guess they turned it in immediately. Yeah, or they like, immediately, like immediate. There was actually a cop right there, and I think when he gave it to him, the, the guy said, "Oh, this guy just gave me a gun or something," <laughs> and then that cop arrested him. <laughs> <laughs> so like, but go. the scary, the scary thing is, they said when they interviewed him, he had like zero remorse for anything he did, and was just very like, "Yeah, yeah, I killed a bunch of people. Yep, yep, a bunch yeah. of people. Died. It's like, what?" <laughs> There's broken people in, in our world, oh, man, God, unfortunately. Seriously. There's broken people. So um, the juice is here. He says, I burn rubber. Oh, um, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, the Alizé 808 says, hi, from Las Vegas. So, and J, uh, JGT407 says, how's the Photoshop going, babyface? I, I, need a, I need a Photoshop something else. Next yeah. one's going to be of Hank. We'll have to figure out what, though. Really? Big girl panties. <laughs> um, you now did you see i'm gonna show well actually first of all i watched the whole thing last night well yeah so you saw so you saw this yeah obviously. yeah i totally saw that I'm, i just want to show it for the yeah, people who you didn't need to see the it. neck better and that that yeah, ak yeah. The, for the people out there who didn't see the awesomeness of yesterday <laughs> you can go back to yesterday's episode i challenge people out there in the world to make memes of babyface's head I think it's called so, Brona Corn. No, it's not a Brona Yeah, we're going to see no, some stuff. Called? Yeah. Um, Walter said something about the, the Garands. What did he say? Something about the Garands being He's, from uh, Philippines. Yeah. Wait, did he say something? Maybe next year on the Garands have a couple of BM kits. Yeah. You always got to have those bowel movement kits. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. So that was that was the thing from yesterday. The other thing that I did from yesterday that was interesting, I don't know if I've, if I've uh, pushed forward my theory to you, but these are the same people. These people are the same people <laughs> in Wait, my mind. The, that's Sandra Bullock on the left? Yeah, Sandra Bullock and Michael Jackson. I don't know which one is which. They basically <laughs> look exactly the same. Well, well, funny enough, I actually know – I went to high school, middle school and high school with Sandra Bullock's nephew. So his aunt is Sandra Bullock. Uh-huh. So uh -huh. she's nice. Do Hank in an Audi donk ride. I can try that. I saw angel. someone in a BMW donk today, and I I, I couldn't get my phone up fast enough. There was a <laughs> dude actually towing another car, and the car that he was, was towing the other car with, his car was a donk BMW. <laughs> and I was God. like, and it and it wasn't it wasn't a black dude. <laughs> Wait, what? It wasn't a black dude. It was a white guy. You should have a picture because I cannot I find get, a white dude in a dog. I, 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 I went for my phone. By the time I went for my phone, they turned in front of me, and then I almost went down the road to follow the guy, and I was like, oh, I'm late. <laughs> He's going to murder you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I had a meeting here at the at the uh, studio, and I was like, uh, uh damn it. <laughs> you know, so I chased that guy down. But, yeah, so there you go. Now, um, so you're going you're gonna to be doing some other Photoshop stuff, huh? Maybe we'll see. You never know. <laughs> you never know what comes out of Photoshop. It's just magic like that. It has to just uh -huh. happen naturally. I can't. I can't make myself do it. Yeah, but you know, you're not allowed by contract to <laughs> contract? to do things about Hank Strange. That's in your contract. <laughs> <laughs> that contract I saw. No, it's no fine. Photoshopping yeah. Hank Strange all, in a dog. Yeah, all fair right and love and war. Metal Mass Militia says, I love that car of yours, Hank. Thank you very much. By the way, I did put up a new video um, of, of the Audi. It's on Stranger Palooza, so I encourage everyone out there to go subscribe to Stranger Palooza. Um, we're very limited on what we can do over there until we get 10,000 views because of all YouTube's new stupid-ass rules. <laughs> so if you're, if you're over there, just play a bunch of videos, and that'll help us get up to the 10,000 point, and then we can, you know, we can do some more stuff with that. But I did put up a video over there that you guys can see and I have a bunch of videos actually that that I need to edit and put up there so in the vein now you see where's where, where the hell is Patrick R oh there he goes speak, speak of the devil that's right say yeah. something and, and he shalleth a pareth speak of the devil and he shalleth a pareth huh so we're already live look at that yeah we're already live man Jazz hands, light jazz hands. Yeah, okay, hold on. No, we got to see a proper <laughs> light, jazz light, 
No, hey, that's wait. just one handed. Yeah. That's not jazz hands. Yeah. Both. Yeah. It's, it's, okay. I can't do my. There. You can't okay. do both at the same time. <laughs> no, I'm using the touch uh, pad right now to fix my lower thirds. Oh, okay. All right. Fine. Fine. Well, You're going to miss out on this because I'm about to show. We were going through. Well, I, I don't know. Should I show this picture? Because Which one? someone sent me this picture. The Photoshop wars are on. <laughs> Someone sent me this love. picture right here. If, uh, you know what? I would I would love to own Pat. This a is baby like face P when he was a baby. Holy shit. If I had a gun room like that, oh my god, it'd be incredible. That would be awesome for sure. So the Photoshop memes are on. Uh you you don't want to play that game with me. I win. The the oh really? Oh, the gauntlet has been thrown the, the down. Been thrown down to the to the chat. The gauntlet has been thrown down. Okay, so I mean, I did for the title of this of this episode tonight, Patrick versus Patrick. Well, you know, you know, uh -oh. we're not we're uh -oh. not really we're not really gonna fight about anything. We're not we're not enemies. Although the truth be known is that when Patrick R is on the show with us, Babyface Babyface P. That. And Walter Keller, they like to go in the background and troll Patrick R. The, the, the bad thing is that Walter is is drinking, and in the chat, he's not actually here. And is he trolling us yet? I think he, he wants to see if Patrick started, R was here, expecting. and then he went away. I don't see him. I don't see him. Oh, that stings. He was pro he was probably waiting to see if you were here. See what I don't know. These yeah. guys these guys love to troll you, Patrick. Or do you have a comment <laughs> about that? Anyone. I'll I'll uh, let let's start there. Wait 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 wait. It's not just you. Show him the picture of Kevin if he hasn't seen it yet. Oh, <laughs> oh now I gotta show him the kill. Oh, okay. <laughs> let's see. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So I kicked off. I'm, I'm, I kicked not, off not, I'm not going off. away. I'm not, I'm not going away. I, I just turned the camera off. Oh okay. I'm still here. Okay. So can you see? So this whole thing, the whole meme war started with Babyface P did this donk meme of Kevin Dixie. So I feel like that might be slightly racist. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to put that out there. Uh, so, hey, I, I have to ask you, I've got to ask you, the last time I was on... We uh -huh. had a show about uh, some sort of like white nationalist thing, and now you're <laughs> trying to imply that the other <laughs> you're like looping me into another racial thing. <laughs> this is not deliberate. <laughs> you know what? I was looking at the title of that the other day. I was looking at that video, and I was like, "This looks really bad." I'm surprised Patrick R has not said to me, "What the hell's going on here?" Ah, <laughs> uh, dude, yeah, no, no, I, I totally like thought heavily about it, but you know. Yeah, and then I think, by the way, the person who came up with that thumbnail is Lola. Because Lola finds like a thumbnail of you looking all crazy. <laughs> and then I it says white nationalist on the bottom, <laughs> which is not the truth about, about Patrick R at all. I'm right. blaming you, Lola. Just take the blame. Lola, take the blame. Lola, Lola, why are you making me into some like racially charged asshole? Let me go look at what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, uh, which Patrick R is not. That's just the way we no. name. Okay, let's change the name of that because we don't want to make Patrick R. Okay, let me, let me we don't want to make him look bad. He's a good I, dude. Okay, let me go take He's a lot of things, you know, but not. Yeah. Like some gun tabloid's going to print some story <laughs> about that podcast. But you might blow up. You might blow up, man. We'll, t we'll, and, we'll all and have your back. Talk about they're, Well, they're going to talk about how, like, Grand Dragon Patrick R. <laughs> appeared on Hank Strange, you know, Who Moved by Freedom podcast. If that happens, it's all babyface. So don't, not nice. Patrick J, Patrick R. <laughs> No, I'm saying if someone leaks that, it's Babyface that did it to you. Oh. <laughs> oh. Cool. I'm gonna go to see it. Yeah. So no, that we should, we'll 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 adjust something in there. I mean, it probably did good for us. We probably got a little bit of ratings out of it, but maybe we got like some some unfortunately I, some Nazi dudes. Know. You know. Okay. So here, um, you know, now I was really gonna use all of these to be thumbnails for the videos, and then I decided to be nice. <laughs> So in the in the um, the Photoshop meme wars that's going on, this is what someone did of Babyface right there. Oh, man. So, but if you look really closely, you'll see they they the Photoshop work. I think it was Archangel. Yeah. It takes some. Yeah. It needs some I work. mean, all right, all right, all right. So I'm gonna find some of these photos, and you're gonna have to like. <laughs> okay. Here. So so Chris B is saying we need to explain how the donk thing came about. 
So yeah. we were talking about, do you know what a donk is? Because yeah. I didn't. And don't feel bad if you didn't. You didn't know, know what a donk was? No, I've never heard the term I, donk before. Absolutely know what a donk is. Like, really? For, yeah, for I've sure. never heard the term donk. So Kevin gets on one night and was talking about donks, and I swear, all of us swear, he said he had owned one at some time. Yeah, he did say that. He's backing off of it now. Yeah, I swear he said he owned one. So the other night, I photoshopped him into a donk. But, uh, oh, man, my phone's ringing. So uh, we actually did, like, the Photoshop war thing um, at one of the jobs I had. (laughs) Oh, God. (laughs) And, like, I got to be pretty decent at it. So, like I said, I I win these. Okay, the rules are that Hank Strange does not make it into the Photoshop. Oh, anymore. no, you have to. you got to be part of it. Uh, yeah, you know, is, I, I don't Hank play my rules. The rules <laughs> to, to bring it back. Rules, rules are not something that Patrick R. abides yeah. by. Well, someone already someone already did a Photoshop thing of me. Don't worry about it. Wait, um, no one's done a Photoshop. Yes, it happened. No, no, don't worry about it. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, these, no, no, no. Aren't, this, these aren't the droids you're looking this, for. Where's this hosted at? Somebody, somebody <laughs> ho- tell me where this is hosted in chat. <laughs> I'm just making it up. I was trying to I was trying to pitch like we should do one of uh, Walter I say. God, what will we, we do to, though? We need to do the Walter one next. That's the one that needs to go next. So the so so anyway, Kevin we all thought said he had a donk, so Babyface did that. <laughs> Kevin is a huge fan of the HK. Um I don't know I think you're a HK fan also Patrick R, right? Uh, depends on what HK we're yeah. talking about. So what someone, some about. um, actually, it was Walter. Um, Walter's actually Will Killer Keller. He counter striked with the HK donk. <laughs> that's what that is right there. Okay, hang on. Wait, 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 that, wait, that's a, again. That's a HK donked out now with with uh, uh, with Kevin yeah. Dixie on it. <laughs> I guess that those are. I mean, there are there are worse things to be writing. I guess. You yeah. Can, could, could be riding a Sig MPX. That would suck. <laughs> you would you would have to have a hammer. You would have to have a hammer with you. So that's where uh, we're at. No, I no, think. no. M M M C X M P X. Not oh, the oh. Uh, not the three twenty. Oh, P three twenty. Oh, okay. I just heard yeah, Sig, and important. I thought. Yeah, I just heard Sig, and I thought about hammer. So yeah. Uh, so that's where so we're at with these time. wars right now. Oh, and of course, uh, of course, of course, today, uh, Walter, from the Safety Harbor camp. Once again, I think Will Killer Keller did this, um, and I'll show it one more time for the folks out there. This is the Babyface P. <laughs> I like see if I can get it to focus there. Uh, Babyface P. That one? Yeah, Will Killer oh, Keller like did that this. That was, that was a good one. That was a really good one. Babyface P. <laughs> what kind of gun is in my hand? Uh, look, is it a Glock? No, it's not a Glock. Oh, it looks like a Let's see, what is that gun? Oh. I think it's a 19, 1911. I can't tell. No. Shot. Put Ch- Chani HK pay twenty percent for the more for the same reliability. No, no, that's <laughs> you do get oh, this, is there HK hate Oh, Scott Pacini. Um, yeah, Savage one uh, wants to you know if you talked to Sean yet. Whoever the hell. No, I is. haven't, Savage. Um, I didn't get a phone call from him uh, as of now. Oh, I believe they're referring to Sean I mean, for like power. two days. Is it a high power? It kind of looked like a high power. Um, tell case. Savage if Savage One R if you're still there. Um, Sean and Aaron have refused to come on the show. I don't know who those. They have refused. Are. Uh, they're from We Like Shooting. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Cool. So they have refused to come on the show. Although I went, I I, I have been on their show several times. I even went on their show. Juice, the juice is all about the ago. HK. The juice is loving the HK. They didn't refuse to come on the show. So they have refused to come on. So, <laughs> Savage says they're a bunch they're, of um, Yeah, they are. They're 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 both dicks. <laughs> Everybody knows this about Sean. Also, Sean sexually harassed I've heard me. I've, we heard, I've heard they're a little dicks. Yeah, they're they uh, yeah they're you little. Need to call them. Call you sexually yeah. harassed, Hank. Yeah, yeah. Sean also sexually harassed me when we did the Brownells thing. You got the twofer because uh, Aaron is trying. Well. Aaron has tried. He's tried to. <laughs> So yeah, shout out to Savage One R. He's like one of the first people to actually support my channel. P two fifty. Oh and man, he's from We Like Shooting. So shout out to those guys. I wonder if they're doing yeah, a show they're right they're now. Awesome. Who knows? Kentucky Firearms Network. Yeah, For anybody that has a two fifty, if you go to Big Daddy's, they have a pile of like a cheap bin. It's like eight bucks for any item in the bin. 
they have like seven or eight uh, P250 mags in there. Don't ask me how I know. It's not because I dug Because you went through the ba- I used to have <laughs> an hour the I, other day. Are, are they nine millimeter magazines or are they like stupid I don't know. calibers? I don't know what cal they are. I, I only saw 250 and then I was like, oh, I don't even own one. Yeah. Maybe a little can run out there and look for me. That would be super You're to, do, What do you shoot, nine mil? Yeah. Hank, you got a you got a job tomorrow. You got to look through the cheat bin and see what. Oh my gosh! Yeah, or at least five. No, those those P two fifty mags or P three twenty mags. Yeah, they're the same thing. I used to have uh, the uh, Sig P two fifties. I've actually done a couple of videos on that. So when they first came out, those are like some old videos I have on the Sig P two fifty. Terrible trigger. Um, very, very yeah, I mean, trigger in the context, it's not terrible. Uh, I mean, it's a double action only gun, man. Yeah. You know the the three twenties yeah. definitely got better with the trigger. Well, if somebody Louis Louis Vuitton cipher whatever says uh, the two fifty and three twenty are the same mags, so yeah, anybody yes, that wants to are. buy Big Daddy's tomorrow, dig through the dig through the eight dollar bin because there's like five or six of the two twenty. Oh, you saw a bunch leave of them in there. My, yeah, leave my gut mags alone. <laughs> bring them to me. Uh, yeah, if you want those things, you better call up Big Daddy Guns tomorrow. <laughs> Someone's gonna go digging through that yeah. that. Parts Call them up and try to get the Hank Strange discount off the $8. Off the $8 <laughs> magazines. <laughs> I'm telling you now I want them. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I don't know that I'm going to remember that tomorrow. <laughs> Not a big deal. I don't shoot and that if, gun anyway. It's a piece yeah. of crap. And whoever calls up there for I, – I have never even been in that $8 bin, but I know yeah, Patrick's – we Patrick obviously went through the $8 bin. I had nothing to do one day, so I was over there buying the ammo, and I dug through it for like 20 minutes. Yeah, you want me to look through the $8 bin? Put some guns in there. <laughs> <laughs> one single gun hidden. Nah, man, I'm all about those mag savings. Yeah. Was, uh, there were some uh, FNFAL mags as well, which I almost bought them because I need some for the Caltech RFB. I would buy those anyway if they're yeah, cheap. Yeah, they had $8. They weren't, they weren't steel, though. They were the, the – the, Oh, the plastic ones? Yeah, the plastic They're ones in some cases are be- the the plastic ones in some cases are better actually. Plastic one that I have works fine. Yeah. It depends. All, all of this stuff depends. On it. Yeah. The I have mixed feels. The steel yeah. ones don't like steel ammo. The plastic ones are easy on steel ammo. The feed lips dig into that steel case. Ammo. Yeah. Chris Gibson says he'd like to see mix flip come on. Um, okay, you're gonna have to mix flip is really busy in Vegas so. <laughs> You know, not that we haven't tried, but he is welcome to come on the show. You guys are going to have to go put the pressure on there, see if you can get him to come on the show. But, you know, Vegas is a busy place for him nowadays. Um, LB Louis Cypher says, have oh, to Lola, he says, have Hank go through the $8 bin for a P250. Any P220 caliber. Mags, any caliber. There's a Chippendales <laughs> ticket in it for you. Wow. Huh? You can get Just two. Wild. That's for Hank. Hank wants to go to the Chippendales. No. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Kentucky Firearms Network says that you can get two fifty frames, for like forty bucks now. And yes, that is true. Yeah. Isn't there What's someone it? that's going to be doing aftermarket ones? Or? Are those the ones where you take the the steel they were and, out. and you can like change it between? Yeah. The yeah. Yeah. It's it's basically a hammer fired three twenty. Yeah. The okay. three twenty. Well, you can put the the three twenty frame in the two fifties or vice versa, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Hmm. Yeah. Um, Joe Carpenter wants to know what dimension is Patrick R in? <laughs> the one that doesn't have a working cam right now because I'm eating. Uh, yeah. He's that's why, that's why I was two minutes eating. late is I was scarfing down food. Yeah, he's trying to save you guys some eating because, you know, everyone always has complaints about him when he comes on. Someone, let me see, who was this? Uh, Giles Henry Michael Jr. wants to know who's my dream guest. Um, I want to have the first, like, actual female guest on the show. Um, I don't know who that would be. Don but, Moses yeah. Browning. Uh, have yeah, to that'll resurrect be awesome. him. That's awesome. Yeah, he'll be. Resurrect the man yeah. and have him on the podcast. Uh, <laughs> I don't think he would know what a podcast was, but... <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see... I'd like to have, like, an actual female guest here on the show. Like, a, a you know, a woman that's into guns on the show. You know, hanging out with us. That would That's, like, a big thing that I think about now. I've tried to get American Gun Chick to do it, you know... There's long, there's negotiations and everything going on there. Maybe we'll get her to do it, but I don't know that that will be the first one. Have you reached so, out to her business manager to ask permission? Uh, yes, absolutely. We've, uh, my people have spoken to her people, so we may get her to come on. I think she's like traveling around right now, so 
I don't know that it's going to happen anytime soon. Uh, someone says get Dana. I'm assuming they talk uh, Dana Loesch. Who's that? Um, um, she's like a, I think she started out doing stuff for the NRA and she's on, oh, is it Fox or something like that? Allen. Her name populates. She must be pretty popular. Yeah. Oh, I've seen that face before. Yeah. Why don't you get Leah? Leah's awesome. Uh, Leah Speed would be cool. I have tried that one, but uh, that didn't work out, you know, but, uh, <laughs> huh? Speed. Yeah, uh, Leah Speed Six. Just uh, go look Leah Speed Six up on Instagram. Yeah, she's all right with this. Well. Yeah, um, she's she's awesome. Yeah, you know, um, there's lots hey, of hey, 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 hey. Be nice. <laughs> yeah, free for over there. So I've tried uh, Patriot <laughs> Nurse. Really Justin Hayes says Patriot Nurse. Uh, I've also tried to get pa Patriot Nurse has been on briefly with uh, with Reed. Um, Louis Vuitton. Louis Cipher says the LV in my name stands for Louis Vuitton. I guess he likes their purses a lot. Yeah. Louis Vuitton, <laughs> Louis Vuitton has a lot of stuff. They make a lot of different things. <laughs> no. So. I'm making fun of him because he says his name stands for Las Vegas. But no, it's Louis yeah, Vuitton. Las Vegas. We, all, we all know the truth. You don't got to hide yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's nothing wrong with it being uh, down with Louis Vuitton. <laughs> if he's from Vegas, he's probably got some Louis Vuitton underwears or something like that. Yeah. Ass. Um, someone asked if Steven Crowder's been on. Steven Crowder doesn't know oh, we exist. Yeah, he doesn't know we exist. Let's should we should we make a plea to Steven Crowder? Let's no. everybody, everybody go to his channel. Please, Steven Crowder, please come on the show. We we yeah, we do we it ask you nicely. Oh, you don't like Steven Crowder? No, that's no. my ex-wife. What your ex-wife is Steven Crowder? <laughs> no, it's Sig Sugar Baby. Twenty seventeen, man. I don't know what is going on in this chat. I can't oh. keep up. Trying to look at oh. news and then going back and forth. Hillary Clinton. Oh. That's his ex. Uh, so uh, hold on a second. We're skipping over something. Why does Patrick R. not like? Um, what does he say? Crowder. Oh, okay, yeah. What's your complaint I, about Crowder? I've met him. He's a douche. Oh, he is. <laughs> yeah, he's a comedian. You know, comedians no, are like, douches by just nature. Me, dude. Oh, really? I, okay. Yeah, we we had to tell him to go away. We couldn't transfer a gun to him. Oh wow! Okay, Steven Crowder, come on and fight for your non douchiness or <laughs> prove or disprove. If you, if you even know we the alleged douchiness yeah. that has been alleged against you. No, you're uh, just douchey. <laughs> so there we go. I guess we're not getting Steven Crowder. <laughs> A couple beers I, later, I, Jesus! How fast is if he happens to be up late at night looking for something to do, and comes across this thing, and then you know discovers what we really think about him. We'll see. Yes, Yankee Marshall in a dress. I would love that. On the show? Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, that would be awesome. That's the only way yeah. we let him on the show. I would give to Yankee Marshall's favorite charity if we can get him to come on the show in a dress. Only in a dress. Otherwise, yeah. not allowed on the show. Absolutely. No, like and to, to show <laughs> solidarity, I'd put a damn dress on as well. We'll all be cross-dressing up in here. I'd have to go buy one. So basically you would have a podcast on a Saturday. <laughs> why why is that why why saturday i, I figured that's just a normal saturday for you oh, <laughs> oh so that's so low that's so low okay I mean, um regardless of what you're hearing please click the thumbs ups <laughs> <laughs> you know and share this video we would we very much appreciate I doubt anyone that. from team mitchell -like would be available again Mary, jerry mitchell -like. uh, yeah. Big yeah. Of a name. That man doesn't know no, no, um Jerry is cool. Um his wife is like really awesome. I spent like half an hour at shot last year talking to her while he was taking some photos after his like world record uh STL drill run at Industry Day. Mm -hmm. Super awesome lady. Okay, cool. And then he has he's, a daughter. He's pretty down to earth. He doesn't yeah. seem like a, seems I'd no, like a no, girl. He's really cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He just likes doing what he does, man. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. I'm just looking. Uh, da -da -da. Yeah. Kentucky Firearm says he's met Jerry about a dozen times. Super nice, humble dude. Um, cool. Yeah, he's he's truly one of the greats. Okay. Yeah, you know, like I mean, I'm not just saying that because he's an amazing shooter, but he's just a really cool dude. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's that's a good thing. I mean, I've I think I've met him a couple times and talked to him briefly. Seems very nice. You know, he's been doing it a long time. He's old school. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, so the old the old school people are usually that way. Huh. You know? Alex C., that dude, nobody, 
He got lost in a well. Nobody can find him. Alex C. Oh, Cap. Yeah. Um, yeah. What happened to Alex C? Love to have Alex C come he, on the he's show. He's still sometime. on the bottom of that well. Oh, okay. We've got to put put a rope down there. Put, send out a bucket. <laughs> you nah. know. Nah. Have him come on. So there you go. Nah. You know. Um, yeah. Uh, so, okay. So there we go. So what do we have some other gun news? Did you want to so, talk yeah, about yeah, some stuff? Yeah, he is the one that's not politics. Who? Patrick R? The other one is politics. No, there's the two. One of the gun websites is like no politics. The other gun website is like we'll put politics. I couldn't oh. remember which is which. Um, there's more than two. Well, yeah, there's the two that I typically look at when we get on a podcast to try to pull news. Yeah, from. I think the firearm blog is the one that doesn't do politics. Yeah, they're not politics, and Truth About Guns is politics. Yeah, and Patrick R. that we have on now is formerly of that. Of uh, which one? The non politicky <laughs> one. The non politicking? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So there you go. Um, so that's the truth about guns, but I'm pretty sure that Patrick R doesn't want to talk about the truth about guns right now, right? I don't care. I, I, okay, so there you go. If there's some new stuff on there, we could definitely talk about it. I don't really see anything. Oh, anything Walter like needs to make one of these. Breaking wise, what? Craft produced 762 by 25 submachine gun found in Pakistan. It looks like an AK set, like a crank. Yeah. But it's a 76225 Tokarev. That, that is going to be a really wild cool. winding post. And it looks like it's completely handmade. Yeah. It, packy guns are pretty neat. Those guys make some crazy stuff. Um, okay, I'm trying to scroll. What is that down on the bottom? Wait, what? Wait, is that on the firearm blog? Here, I'll link it. I'll link it. Okay. That, yeah. I know Walter likes weird oddballs like this. He would love this thing. Okay. Let's see. Let's open that up. Uh, it's the, the picture at the top. Little tiny crazy sub gun. Straight blowback, I'm guessing. Hmm. I think it's really cool. Interesting. Yeah, straight blowback. There's no, there's no gas tube or anything. Looks like. Yeah, there's nothing on there that like intrigues me at all. Oh, Tokarev is a sweet round. I love the Tokarev. Zippy little 76225, super awesome. And then you get it in a tiny little compact thing like that. Yeah, that looks cool. Um, so what did you want to talk about, Patrick R? What's your, what new thing did you want to talk about? I will uh, get to that in just a second. I'm still stuffing my face. Sorry. <laughs> uh, um... Okay. I'm trying to decide whether or not I hate this uh, AK thing. Oh, dude. Oh, okay. So mill, mill over that. Think over it. Now, I want to remind you guys, right. today I think there is the go. last day, right, Lola, that for the Krebs Custom Raffle? We got last 24 hours. Yeah. What are they up to? How many tickets have they sold? Um, Hold on. Let me pull it up. Uh, Let's see here. So the Krebs Custom Raffle ends tomorrow at 1 p.m., um, I'm trying to check. Let me see. I know they were close to sixteen thousand. I don't know if they went over that. Oh yeah, God. they went over. They went over sixteen thousand. So there's sixteen thousand four hundred and eighty dollars right now. And I just wanted to remind you guys that if you look behind me, you can see this. Uh, this is the KV13 Mod 2 from Krebs Customs. That thing it so comes nice. with an achaotic suppressor from Liberty Suppressors, and this is one of the things that you can win in there. Perhaps the biggest prize. That looks right. super cool. We've <clears throat> we've shot that on on your channel. We've shot that thing before, and it's it's pretty awesome. Yeah. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this in the chat so you and and uh, other Patrick can uh, check that out. I'm also gonna put it in our general chat window here so everyone can get no, to no. it. Now, what I'm no, no. There. no, no. I'm not. I'm not other Patrick. I'm not other Patrick. Oh. <laughs> Patrick <laughs> R. <laughs> you Hank. No. You don't know how to link things. What is what? wrong? Did I link the wrong thing again? I don't know. It says not <laughs> found. Sorry, we couldn't find that. No, 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 no. Look at the URL, dude. You like left dots where it like truncated the uh, URL. How did I? It, no, so it... I'm clicking on this link and going to it. That's not me. It's not working for me. See if anybody else has it work. Not found. Yeah, it's not working. 
Oh, it looks like Walter's joining us. Hold on a second. Let me Pages let me look this 17, up. Seventeen seven thirty seven Krebs Custom Raffle. Find it, Bauer. Just search Krebs Custom Raffle. Here, let me see. This is probably the same thing that I'm sending you. I don't know what would be the difference. Find? Log in pricing. Search Krebs Custom Raffle and you're going to see it. I don't know. You guys let me know if... Uh, oh, I'll drop the end. Okay, he says drop the end slash. That's probably what it is. There is no end slash in what I'm putting up. Uh, so did racist? that link... Are we back in the racist stuff? What uh, n slash? I don't know. It just doesn't know I'm how to not, copy. I'm not the hip. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he does yeah, this like the reg where he'll drop links into chat and everybody's like, "Yeah, that shit doesn't work." <laughs> yeah, uh, neither one of those works properly. No, it yeah. doesn't. I'm looking. Okay, can Patrick, you find it and you put it in the chat. It okay, there you go. We had Walter for a second and then he dropped out. So we'll. See, we'll yeah, get this him works for me now. But I bet when I drop this in here, it won't work. Yeah. So here's what I'm trying to tell you guys while they're trying to work out the. Yeah, uh, it doesn't work. Hmm. What? It's literally. It's you. If it doesn't work, it's you. It could be you. I carry sure my revolver and single action says that link took me to a tranny porn site. No, that's, that's you, what have, you already had that tranny porn site loaded on your computer. <laughs> Don't even try to fool me. All right, let me grab my. Um, I, I do. I do want to say for the record that, that you see this right here. This, this is why my wife is better than, than most wives. You know, I'm not going to say better than Lola because she'll hurt me, but uh, my wife is amazing. Oh. That, that, is, that is from scratch. Mm, delicious. Congratulations. Son um, of a good woman. Son of a good woman. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Rick Day said confirmed it doesn't work, so we're trying to get Patrick to get I don't know why this thing doesn't work. Um, is there a link to it in the description, Lola? I'm not, I, I don't know. You know what? Here, let me look at it. Let me, maybe it's the uh, uh, the browser that I'm using to look it up. Hold on. I will search for it on some other thing. Krebs All right. Custom Laptop. Raffle. Just Google Krebs Custom Try Raffle. Just put in there. Hold on. Let me, I'm getting another one right now. Watch. It's definitely not going to get. Nope, Here. not found. Try I don't that. know what's wrong with their, with their linking system, but it doesn't work. Oh, not found. Right? Yeah, I think it's YouTube doing something to us guys to um, to keep us from being able to do this thing. Probably. So it's it's probably YouTube blocking something. Yeah, because you know what? The same link I just posted for them, when I put it in a new page, it mm -hmm. goes. But in yeah. the chat, yeah. it says Oh, if you copy paste it, will it work? I don't copy know. Link so the thing the thing here is that um in the chat it doesn't work. Just Google. If you Google Krebs custom raffle. Does it not come up? Because that's the easiest thing to do. Yeah, YouTube's adding some sort of some sort of thing to the yeah. URL. There's some, yeah, they're somehow making it difficult. I don't know why. I'm not in control of that baby face. <laughs> Look at me. So there you go. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me fix this for you. You gonna do a shortener? Yes. Oh wow! Look at that. Tiny URL, is that what you're doing? Okay, so yeah. while he's doing that, let me go down the list of prizes here. So this, um, or a similar KV-13 Mod 2 with an achaotic suppressor is one of the prizes, all right? Uh, let me go down the list and tell you the other prizes. There's a Krebs Custom oh, Yugoslavian M90A that you can I get. Can't, can't post it, no can't admin rights. Put it in our admin. chat, put it in our chat. Yeah, and I can post it. I'm on a different computer. Let's see. Yeah. Yes, that is an Austrian flag on my hat. You are correct. Okay, there you go. Okay, so then you get the, uh, there's a, I'm, I'm trying to get to the prizes. There's a Krebs Custom Yugoslavian M98. So, anyhow, while Hank is screwing around with this link nonsense, uh -huh. I'll tell you about the giveaway I'm doing on my Instagram page, everyone. If you head on over to the Patrick Roberts on Instagram, it's that one there. You can go there and uh, follow the instructions on the video of me fighting with my dog, trying to make a video on my couch. And uh, we're giving away the first set of XS Sights F8 Sights and a DSG Arms CDC holster as well as a mag carrier. So uh, just follow the instructions on that stuff and you can win. Uh, Warsaw Patriot, no, I don't have any Austrian-American pride. Uh, this is a hat from Ritter and Stark. They're out of Austria. Okay. 
All right, so listen, I'm going to put this link in our chat. If it's a shortener, it's not going to work. You tried it? Uh, yep. Link, uh, YouTube doesn't allow link shorteners. Okay, try that thing. Yes, it does. It it won't, it won't let me put it in. Okay, try this thing that I'm putting in here now. Let's see if that works or not. Nope, not going to work. Nope, this won't work. I can try, try it. Try it. Yeah, try it. See if it works. <laughs> it's going to do the same nope. thing. Oh, it did work. What'd you do? Oh. Lola did that. What I don't you know what do? How'd you did. get it working? Just by no, you have to click on the description in the video. Yeah, but I I put the link there, and Patrick said it works for him. It's working. Yeah. Yeah. I have no so idea you can why. go go in the video yeah. and go in our the description of this video. <laughs> now that we've and fucked a link. around for fifteen yeah. minutes. Yeah. Anyone who's watching this, like, who knows when? What, probably by then, this is all going to be oh. over. But um, if you're watching it right now and you want to participate in this. There's a link in the description. I put the link in a bunch of, I just put a, a, another link in there. Lots of stuff going on. I'm going to go back and let Patrick uh, finish his giveaway thing that he's doing, and then we'll come back to that. Oh, I, I did it. Just go to go to the, the thing and follow the instructions, and uh, you can win a set of F8 Night Sights, which I don't have a set like on my desk currently, but you know they're awesome. Yeah. Okay, awesome, good. So to get back to this, there's a bunch of guns being given away. It's $20 a ticket. If you spend 100 bucks, you get six tickets. Um, they were, from what I believe, Krebs was, tr they were trying to raise 50,000. I think they were trying to sell, like how many tickets is that? 2,500 tickets. Um, at this point, they've raised 16,480 and they're ending it tomorrow at one o'clock. And I think tomorrow evening, we're announcing who the winners are. Ooh. So that's happening. And uh, a KB-13 Mod 2 is one of the things that you can win in there, uh, along with a, um, a chaotic suppressor. Or if you're in a state where you can't have a suppressor, I think it's like 3,000 rounds of 7.62 by 39. Um, the other prize is a Krebs Custom Yugoslavian M90A. Then after that is an MB-47 AK-47 receiver. Then there's some accessories from Circle 10 AK. Um, as well as Jim Fuller, you get a personal private class with Jim Fuller, AK building class. That's what Jim I Fuller, want. Which oh. is not on the page. If you're looking at that's not on the page, but that's yes. a great thing. So oh. go there, enter now. I'm, well, here's what I'm trying to do. I don't think, obviously, we're getting to 50,000. That would be awesome if we could do that overnight in the next 20-something hours. Um, but it would, be, it would be great to see this get to 20,000. So I'm trying to encourage everyone to get on board here. Participate. You have pretty good odds of winning. Regardless of that, you're helping out a family that's really in need. Um, everything that's going on is written on that page link that we're talking about. That's either it, that's in the description or Google Krebs Custom Raffle. Okay. Well, I'll probably talk about it again later before we end this. Uh, Andrew Rockwell, thank you very six much. He's, he just bought six more tickets. Awesome, uh, Andrew. If you win anything, it's mine. Just share with share with your friend Hank Strange. Bring me to meet uh, to do that class if you want it, because <laughs> I want to take that. Class is a big deal. That, that is a very yeah. That's <laughs> a lot of money there. I think all you have to do is come up with your materials. No, he I, was it. You had to fly out and come up with materials, or was he? Yeah, you have you have to fly out there and have a place to stay, but you get to have the class with him, and I believe yeah, you. Have you to just have to buy your own parts kit or whatever. Yeah. Absolutely. And if you're following us on social media, we've posted some stuff about it. You can also help us. You know, if you don't have the money to buy tickets and things like that right now, that's absolutely fine. You can help us by just sharing the post that we've done in regards to the Krebs Custom Raffle. And, uh, you know, that will uh, keep everything going here. So I look forward to that. We're going to have those guys on tomorrow talking about that. So any other gun things you guys want to talk about? Mm -hmm. I'm looking for things, I'm trying to see what's in the news. Yeah, now I've got something in this box right here that's a little interesting. Box in the box. Now I know that I I think we had I asked this question earlier. I asked this question earlier. Who likes HK stuff? Um, I believe Babyface P said he hates HK, <laughs> and I believe that Patrick R, not other Patrick or. Yeah, he can be other Patrick. Yeah. Oh, oh, he says Babyface could be other. Okay, we'll just call no, Babyface Babyface. Yeah, there you go. We'll call Babyface Babyface, <laughs> and we'll call Patrick. Is R, it a Mark twenty five? A Mark twenty three? Is that what you have in that tiny little box? The smallest gun ever made this by. This is H what I have in here, actually. No, 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 no. Well, see, you ruined it. You could have told them <laughs> that you had like the lube 
to conceal the Mark 23 in your prison wallet inside the box. <laughs> yeah, this is what I have. This is a binary trigger for Who's the it HK. Gone? It's from Franklin Armory. Oh, they finally have it out. Boom. Nice. Yes, HK binary trigger. So this Water. just came in. This just came in uh, last night when I got home. This was uh, waiting uh, for me in the mail. So we are going to be dropping this into some kind of HK. Uh, Walter has one of the Zenith MP5, doesn't he? Uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll, we have we have several HK things or clones or whatever that we could drop this into. I uh, Patrick Patrick R is going to probably send us an HK that we could drop it into. What about a? I don't own one. G3. <laughs> Um, yes, I believe it does go in the G3s. And oh, it can go to G3, yes. And that it sounds sucks. incredibly fun. It's What was that, Patrick? And still, it, it, G3 and full auto sucks. Oh, okay. Fun, though. Yeah. Super fun. Yeah, we should so, cut the barrel down. That's what we should do. Have Walter cut the barrel down to, Hank, pick a size of a barrel. SBR it. Eight-inch barrel. <laughs> <laughs> then integrally suppress it for you. How about that? Yeah, integrally suppress it, uh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, the PPRK, the, the pistol. Which pistol? They make a uh, G3 pistol. Oh, yes. You know what? I fired that before. Uh, or a, a, clone, a clone of it or something. <laughs> no, like it's, awful. It's, it's like eight inches. It's, it's terrible. Yeah, it's a, fire, it's a fireball maker. It, so, it's useless. Yeah. So there you go. Um... It goes against every every like pragmatic bone in my body. We yeah. need to put it in like one of the Zenith MP5s. Oh uh, yeah, we'll do sure. something like and that. Yeah, it and yeah. Have lots of fun. Yes, coming yeah, up sometime soon. Different. I'll drop that in. I'll drop it into something coming up in the future do you, here. Do you own any HK? Uh, me? Yeah. No, I have HK clones. I have a. Yeah, uh, yeah. You have some yeah. of the clones. Yeah. I don't think I've ever shot one of yours. Yeah. They're in the safe. I think I've shown it to you before, but we have Probably. that. We've got stuff. So between me and Safety Harbor yeah. and even Big Daddy Guns, we have things. So, um, you know, we'll, be able, to, a, we'll be able to drop that in something like you guys know. Just yeah. Easy peasy. Um, well, I don't know if it's easy peasy. I've never changed the triggers in any one of those things. I mean, it's, so. it's not yeah. like. Yeah, it looks like it's all contained yeah. in one little thing. So you just boop. Yeah. So shout out, shout out to Franklin Armory for sending that through. <laughs> Very cool. You Walter know. says there's no White Castle in Florida, which is sad. there isn't. Yeah, it is. It is sad. Oh, yeah. sad. Uh, what's what's Florida's version of White Castle? Um, we have, um, oh, we crystals. 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 There crystals. you go. Yeah, <laughs> I have never crystals. eaten anything from that place. Oh, it's delicious! It's oh, really? Good. The drunk yeah. you are. The and better they make it sliders. Is. They make sliders like White Castle. Yeah, yeah. pretty much yeah. the same. Oh. It's, it's close to the same. Yes. Yes. TKO five nine three says Crystal Burger makes similar sliders. Does it um, similarly make it slide out of your butt five minutes after you? <laughs> 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 we need an In and Out. If we can have one like West Coast thing, it should be In and Out Burger. Yeah. Uh, yes. their, their stuff is amazing. Yeah. Um, Warsaw Patriot says I love White yeah. Castle along with I love Glocks. That's what. <laughs> I love White Castle and I love Glocks. Oh God, that's this, his thing. This, you're gonna I hate like to tell wind you, up. Water Burger is better than yeah. like uh, than, uh, In and Out, though. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're gonna wind up dead at some yeah. point, and they're gonna trace it back to to Warsaw Beach. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey. and, then, and then there's some people now that okay. I see 904 Outdoors is in the chat, trying to come hang out with me Rick and shoot day. this thing. I'm sorry, you. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know. We'll, in and out burger. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Nine oh four. I think you're too young to use this trigger. Five guys. I'll give. You I'll give be, you that. You have Five to be guys. over. You have to be over twenty one years old to be able to. I'm just teasing him. So there you go. I think also Tyvin wants to uh, try it out. I don't know when I'm gonna do this to be honest with you guys because <laughs> there's a crap ton of work sitting on my table. So Guns that have to be yeah. shot and videos made, and then videos. To, I think I have like twenty something videos right now waiting for me to edit them. So, <laughs> uh, he says, come on, Hank. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know when I'm doing that. I'm, uh, I have to even figure out when I'm going to do it. I have no clue. I mean, I might just get up one morning and feel like, just, uh, just I'm going to throw it. this in a gun. Yeah. yeah. Do I don't it. know why you would wait. That'd be so much fun. 
Yeah, it's because it's just there's like a bunch of stuff to do, but you know, I probably should try it out. <clears throat> we actually have we've got a Franklin Armory. We've got actually like a binary or whatever the hell you want to call these triggers. We've got one of those videos coming up soon. As soon as I edit it. Wait, do we really? Which one do yeah. we shoot? Uh, Walter and I did a video. Actually, it was oh, me and Will Killer Keller and yep. Walter. So. Oh, did you try out the new update? Did they send you the new one back? Um, I, I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to give out details of this video quite okay, yet. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm is it what I think it is? I'm keeping the video kind of secret of what it is, but it's a cool video. We've already shot it. I just need to edit the damn thing. <laughs> So that's the tough part, you know. Got lots of editing and stuff like that to do. So we will get to that. So there you go. That's my thing. Who's got some things to show? I've got one more thing to show, but I'm gonna let you guys show some. Stuff. I don't have anything Patrick, cool sitting around me. Patrick's going in the safe. I can see him. A big massive safe door just open. I got a. I got calipers. You might. You might like calipers. <laughs> no, we don't like calipers. I'm gonna lock it on Patrick's safe. What is it? Champion Safe Company. And he's got a picture of a bear, of actually a drawing of a bear on his wall that he probably did when he was like five years old in kindergarten. I have, uh, uh, let's see, I have a flat dark earth pistol. I have a black pistol. <laughs> okay, let's see. The bear? So let's see, yeah, you're, you're muted. What is this? Is it? I can't who tell can what that kill, is. Who I can kill it. teddy bear? Oh, that's a target. Badass. It's, How old is it's, that? It's, uh, 1906. That is wow. super cool. I like that. Uh, yeah, it was in my grandmother's house. Uh, so it's a kid's game from back in the day. That is and, awesome. Uh, yeah, it was like a, a party game, like their version of, uh, like the manliest version of Pin the Tail on the Donkey. You just shoot bears? That's fucking Yeah, so you shoot it with like, like a, BB, a Red Ryder BB gun? Or? Yeah, that's no, what I'm man. Like, it, this was like a, a bow and arrow game or something like oh, that. Uh, that's cool. Yeah. So it's a, it's a cloth target. Oh, uh, what? That's cloth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's cloth. This thing gets cooler and cooler by the second. That thing's fucking like the coolest wall art ever. So, uh, yeah, like I said, uh, you know, my, my dad grew up playing this game as a kid. Uh, I want to say, I have to ask him, but I think that it had something to do with, like, pinning something on it. And, uh, you know, like, that was back in the day when Teddy Roosevelt was a hunter and something that gave a shit about stuff. And, like, yeah, you could not make that today, I'll tell you that. You definitely couldn't no, call that bear no. teddy bear. <laughs> no, that yeah. is not politically no. correct today. Still in the same frame. I need to change it. It's a little crooked now, but I, this is my carrying face. Don't worry about that. What did you take um, out of the safe? Uh, I just grabbed my five hundred nine. I've got the uh, F eight sights on there, so like we can talk about them briefly. Who makes these? Uh, this is the new excess sight sight. Excess sight. I've never heard of them. Excess uh, big dot people. Oh, they're the guys that make big dot. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, drop the bag. Sight system. Hmm. Yeah. So uh, this is the rear on the new ones. Maybe I can get it to focus. It's got a single a single tritium vial in the bottom. Yeah. So you'll have a, a single vial in the rear and then a vial up front. The cool thing about them is. Da, da. Oh, I have trigicons in mind. Oh, that's a big massive. Oh, shit. That's a big dot. Uh, yeah, no, it's it's really large. Um, so you say you got trigicons on yours? I think I have a trigicon front, and I think that's I have an HD. Glock rear. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, you got the HD front. It looks like so. That's got the same deal um, as this. You hit that with a light, it should glow. But yeah, this is a, my carry Glock. I've I bought the front sight forever ago, and no, 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 a, no, that's not true. There was like gone. a there was some point where uh, one website was was closing out um, new old stock Glock rear sights, the factory Glock night sights, for like a dollar fifty a piece. So I was like, I tried to get as many as I could, and I could only get like three. They were sold out by the time uh, I jumped. Uh, I, I don't think that that is a Glock uh, or a uh, Trigicon front sight. 
Uh, I know it's Mark Trigicon, but they've got a market by law when they install the Tritium. Oh, you're saying okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so it's Trigicon I didn't Tritium. I didn't realize that they had to mark mark if yeah. they do the install. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, if you look at this one here, uh, mark as well. Yeah, I yep. gotta fix this stupid thing. Um, it's got the Trigicon Mark and like a year and what it's got in there. So it's like whatever isotope they're using. But uh, wait for this to kind of die down. But anyway, uh, yeah, the cool thing about this is the big thing the HDs had going for it was they had that uh, electrical luminescent paint that glows in the dark. If you hit these with a flashlight real quick, they glow That's like right. crazy. Uh, yeah, let me lock it on you there so we can see it. Yeah. Uh, so you said if you hit it with what, it glows like crazy? It's light. Yeah, if you hit it with a flashlight. Light. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. I just put light on it and it glows. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, so it absorbs any kind of, it reflects. No, no, no it doesn't reflect it. It's it glows like in the dark. dark. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's glowing in the dark. dark. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so that, uh, the reason that's cool is like there is one other site on the market currently that does that. And, uh, you know, let's say Trigicon HDs. These are going to retail about 130 bucks. Uh, the Trigicon HDs, as we all know, are like your firstborn. Too damn expensive. They are retarded expensive. Retarded. Yeah. Um, I got one set and I hate them. Oh, okay. The uh, Alize eight oh eight wants to know if anyone's heard of night vision. Night vision? Yeah, that's what it looks like. Night vision. No. Are you having a stroke? No. Night vision. Night vision. Uh, they're a night sight company. <laughs> no idea. Um, let me know what you think uh, it is. Yeah, it's just a night sight company. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, don't care. That's good. <laughs> Night vision, huh? Yeah. Glock nineteen. Where's that so um? Cost? Where's that gray? Where's that gray Glock at? Uh, it is oh, currently oh, oh, oh. in the trunk of my car. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do you want me to get it that no, bad? No, 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 no. <laughs> What's with the gray Glock? Uh, we built a Glock from uh, eighty percent lower. Yeah. Gross. <laughs> I just had a conversation about those. All right, night vision. That is going to be uh, Kamenga, I believe, the, the the compass people. Night vision? Let me see. Yeah, vision, F-I-S-I-O-N, -F precision, tritium. I don't see anything, like, groundbreaking or interesting at all. If I'm they have a good honest. price. That's the only thing. Because Trigicons are too damn expensive. <clears throat> oh, I see. Okay. Oh, no, oh! I think it has the same little thing where the the little dot glows or something. No, it doesn't. It's good. That's a polymer insert. It looks like. Uh, I'm showing a picture with it glowing. Are they? Yeah, one of the one of the pictures that they had had it like glowing in the dark. They don't uh, have a lot of information. Perfect dot night sights at a daytime fluorescent. Injection yeah. molded sleeve. No, it's not going to glow. Yeah, it's not glow in the dark. It's just regular old plastic. I, yeah. I do like that, though. I mean, like, these here have that, the red uh, insert. Yeah, whatever I and I actually, I actually really like it. Yeah, what's the price of these? I don't see the... So it's like 40 uh, to 90 depending. Oh, okay. But I'm, I'm optioning out a set like I would buy. Uh, they're, they're 90 bucks. Yeah. Okay. Tritium isn't cheap. Uh, mm -hmm. ah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a $39.99. It, that option is going to be for the front side only. Uh, yeah, I don't see anything about them that, like, intrigues me, man. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, somebody asked me about the P10C, so I pulled it out. Uh, it's going pretty good, man. Um, you want to lack it on me, Hank? Uh, so I've go. tossed some Dawson Precision sights on there because the stock sights suck terribly. Um, 
the trigger is really pretty solid at this point. I had to do some surgery on the trigger. So that got filed a little bit. Let's see if I can put some light on that. So yeah, uh, the, the trigger face there had to get some like surgery done on it. Mm -hmm. Come on. Focus. Fuck. Uh, meanwhile, we're getting a question about the Meprolite uh, bullseye. Anyone? Uh, I haven't yeah. messed with it yet. I'd like to try it. Um, as, like, if the concept like works. Oh, whoa. What uh, is this? I've never seen this before. Micro so the idea, yeah, the idea is to like recreate what a red dot does. Huh. You know, but it doesn't really recreate what a red dot does. Okay. Uh, it's only a rear sight. Yeah, you don't need a front. As both? Yeah, so think of it like a red dot, man. Like, the only way that you see um, the dot in the, the, the little ring around it is if you've got the gun centered on target. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so basically, and it's it's, um, it's expensive. So it's like a fiber price. optic kind of thing, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so you say they're expensive, but uh, check it out. Uh, you're wrong. <laughs> uh, the only other thing out there in the same price range that's going to do that is going to be a red dot. So I need to what see is, what's, the, what's the price I, on them? Let me see. What's the? I'm looking 150. About 140, 150. I definitely need to see it in action to see how it works. Yeah. I need to get one. Um, I, I think I'm actually going to have to reach out to them. I wanted to test those last year when they came out, and I never got around to it. Um, so I probably need to reach out to them and, and get my hands on one. Oh, okay. So it puts the dot at infinity, but it puts the ring close to you. So, you can, so the dot moves separately from the ring? I, I don't know. Yeah, here I'll, I'll let me. I'll link a video from them. The, uh, the Blazing dot, twelve twelve says Alabama Arsenal has a great video. The dots further out, or the dot appears like it's far ahead of you, where the ring feels like it's close. Yeah. So, oh. Mister Saving the Day wants to know how do you make sure the new sights are huh. centered on the slide? Yeah, yeah, I'm about that. That's actually kind of cool. Yeah. I would shoot that. Yeah. Um, yeah no, I mean, I, I I really do want to give it a shot. Uh, it looks intriguing. Alabama Arsenal video. I will look it up. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll take a look at that. Maybe uh, somebody asked something about the plus two base plate extensions for the P10C. They came in the pre-production uh, gun box. I didn't get any with the production model gun. Um, so I, I don't really have an answer for you. They're just standard uh, plus two like Metgar extensions that you get on, uh, you know, like Beretta mags and all that good stuff. Okay. Um, I am seeing a little bit of weird wear on the inside. You see that big, like, silver stripe. Uh, come to find out, this, I didn't even notice it when I tested it initially because I don't ever think to look and see how generous the cutouts are for, like, uh, a slide hole open. But uh, this slide doesn't have any slide cuts. There are no cuts to interface with, like, a slide stop. Okay. It's weird, right? Yeah. Yeah, normally... So it's, ru it's just... Ru how is it stopping? Is it rubbing on that is thing? Normally, like on a Glock, you have something like that. Like a little notch. A little notch for your... Yeah, yeah. Right. So check out right here by my finger. See that part moving? It does it, it grabs the... Uh, the, the like, like the, the feed lamp? strip. Yeah, yeah the, the, the feed strip. So this huh. like silver portion here, that's... The finish is gone from that, and it's super, super smooth because whenever your gun is empty, this pops up and then rides along the bottom of the slide, polishes the crap out of it, and then it catches on that breech face right there, that little like dangly bit of the breech face down there on the bottom. That's what stops the gun from like closing on an empty chamber. Um, so like, there's a little bit of wear there. I thought that was really weird. Hmm. And then... Like, other internal wear is, you know, kind of there. I think we're like 1,600 rounds at this point. 
Yeah, okay. it looks, it looks um, and are you having any issues with glass run bolt hold open or? No, no. Okay. Um, I've not heard of any issues with that at all. Okay. Uh, I have not seen anything about that. I've seen something about the the like uh, slide dropping whenever you kind of bash the crap out of it. So if you take a mag, and, and that's something else I do want to talk about, um, like the magazine wear is, you know, pretty accelerated. I don't know if it's accelerated, but like these don't look like new magazines by any any stretch. Yeah, it's getting beat up. Um, it's yeah, it's just finish wear, really. Uh, so you know, there there is that. Oh, okay. So that's just the bluing or whatever that's on those rubbing off. Yeah, it's not really even the bluing. Like there's a paint over bluing. If you if you look at it, you see like there's some shiny areas, but they're still black. Hmm. No racist. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Well, if it's still black, that's beautiful. The <laughs> uh, LSA 808 um, wants to know if I've been back to Valor Ridge. I did go this year, if that's what you're asking. I haven't been back since I was there a couple months ago. And for any, that. yeah, for anyone who's joining us right now, make sure you are clicking the thumbs up, please. Um, I'm not even sure how many thumbs ups we have right now, but please click the thumbs ups and share this video with yes, uh, with folks out there. You know, yeah, put it, put it like on your. Uh, your, your, your kid's elementary school Facebook page. Absolutely. <laughs> Patrick, how many thumbs ups do we have right now? That's good to know. Oh, oh I said Patrick. Okay, let's see. Babyface Patrick. <laughs> other, other Patrick. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Other, <laughs> other, other Patrick. <laughs> B grade Patrick, how many thumbs do we have, sir? Oh, let's go. Uh, uh, Brian. 71. Says, okay, we've got 71. Let's get it more than that. Come on. Let's, let's, get, let's see if we can get to 100. Old. 77. Brian, okay, Quick, 77. Brian Quick says the P10 is for hipsters that wear rompers. Uh, <laughs> that wear what? Rompers. I, I, don't, I don't know. What the hell is a romper? <laughs> so a romper. I don't know. It's some, like, what the hell is a romper? I'll find a picture. Hold on. <laughs> that's like the new, that's like the new hipster soy boy outfit. I have to put hipster romper. Uh, hold on. I'll find it. Like a onesie for a dude. It's really ridiculous. I, I'll say that uh, Holy the, trigger, moly. the trigger that comes on the P10, uh, I, I, like I'm able to hit shots at over 100 yards a whole lot easier with this gun than I was my Glock 19. So if that yeah, makes I me wear a romper, I, <laughs> you know. Yeah. I rompers, but that's the key for street. Yeah, here, yeah. Here I know. It, this it, is for everybody. It conceals well in my romper. <laughs> Which oh you put it in the thing. Like, I stuck it in the chat. That's a it's a dude wearing a romper. Yeah, let me take a look at Oops, it here. And me. what the hell is wrong with this guy? <laughs> oh. oh God. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't work for me. No. That's, That's terrible. terrible. Yeah. Look, man, it's twenty seventeen. I don't give a crap what the uh, people decide to wear. Yeah. Have fun. So Unless it's a romper, thing. and then I do. Yeah. No, I, I don't even. Sleep. <laughs> what? Oh, mother of God! Who's I found? Fuck. Tango Did Hunter say... says, "Oh, rompers." I thought you said rubbers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Have Have you seen uh, the 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 article on the Straits Times? Uh, it the the article is titled "Rompers Every Sing Singaporean Guy Should Have." Oh, God. <laughs> No, you might it's have to amazing. put that. You might have to put that. Put a link and let's take a oh. look at it, this rompers thing. Next thing you know, that that everyone will be freaking amazing. Uh, what did I? What, I, I yeah. I uh, I so the Alize says he's uh, eight oh eight. Says he's saving up to take probably two classes from Valor Ridge because traveling and distance make it worth it. Absolutely, and they've got. Like they've got, sometimes they do these classes that go all through the week. I don't know if they're in their winter cycle right now, though. I think they are. So there's, probably, there's probably no classes going on there now, but definitely check the website. Single Action wants to know what everybody's carrying right now. Uh, I'm carrying uh, Glock, uh, Glock I 43. A, I got a 43. Glock 43. With the baseball. Um, right Plus there. 43. Glock 43. I am staying true to my word and. Uh, 
It's a P10C in a DSG Arms CDC holster. Tomorrow, though, I will be carrying, hopefully, I will be carrying a MMP 2.0 compact because I have a holster on the way from Harry's Holsters, I think. So hopefully, I'll give it a try. Yeah, so you bought a, you bought a holster for this compact. Yep. Okay. What, I don't, what, uh, what I don't I'm thinking in my brain is, I thought this was a T and E gun that we were. We got testing. a T and E it though. You can't just find <laughs> rounds through it and go, oh, it works. You no, it's, I'm not saying that. Scratches your butt off. So this, so this gun's not going back. <laughs> this gun might not be coming back to you either. <laughs> okay, good to know. Good to know. <laughs> oh boy. P320. So. Uh, Vanessa Kitty is carrying a 44 and a Kunin. Because, you know, one's not good enough. <laughs> uh, they, uh, I'm not even, I'm not going to comment on that. Block uh, Gen 5. 50,000 rounds through it without any failures. I oh, doubt it's not A Glock 19? That's a fucking boatload of ammo. Brian, <laughs> quick, from a different hi there, friend. You troll friend, you. Oh, do you know Brian Quick? No, but this is a troll. <laughs> no, Brian Quick is always on here with us. It's possible. 27, 10 plus 1 of HST because uh, HST is the best ammo. I think he's just uh, joking. I think he's HST just joking. Is shit. Yes, uh, HST is yeah. amazing. HST is, uh, yeah. So I'm trying to see what I see. Actually, I, take the back. I, don't, I don't give a crap what kind of ammo it is as long as it's on the list. Yeah, Nitro Zoo 76 says I'm carrying a banana. You know, <laughs> when you got to please yourself. At least you got him in Hey, what works? Uh, Andrew <laughs> Seven. Nine millimeter XDS. Someone said G twenty uh, recoil junkies. G twenty seven. Uh, let's XDs. see. These guys are the XDs. Uh, Louis LV Louis Cipher says P two ninety R S E D C nine. So there you go. That is uh, that is a hell of a, a mouthful. P two ninety R S E D C nine. I don't know what the fuck that is. But yeah, Justin E, Socialist Republic of New Jersey. I carry a banana. <laughs> um, okay. Okay. Blazing 1212 that... says, if I, he gave us $3.57. Thank you very much. Three fifty seven. If you had to choose one handgun to take to battle. One handgun. That's pretty easy. Um, if I'm going to take one to battle, it's going to be, you know, like a Glock. I was gonna say Glock. My Glock 19 is. In uh, yeah, I would want if I had to choose one, I would say a Glock 18C. <laughs> there you go. I, no. yeah, how much? How much ammo can you carry, though? We'll make it happen. Yeah, you don't have to run it in full auto the whole time. <laughs> it is select fire for a reason. Yeah. Louis Vuitton over here says it's a micro compact, double action only Sig, and I just looked it up. That thing is. Absolutely tiny. Oh, okay. The, uh, uh, his, the he was a whole mouthful of the two ninety. Whole mouthful. No, uh, it's the two ninety EDC nine yeah. RS EDC nine. Yeah, no, the thing is actually pretty big. It's gonna be like um, six rounds. No. Yeah, it's 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 tiny capacity, but it's more uh, cl it's closer to the size of like an XDS. Yeah, never shot. Actually, really chunky too. Yeah, uh, Richard Hughes says my FN 5.7 with the 30 round bag and 500 rounds in each pocket. <laughs> sure. <laughs> you would be pants on the ground. Your pants, yeah, your pants would fall straight <laughs> off. <laughs> Warsaw Patriot says he loves Glocks. Yeah, he says, he yeah, I love Glocks. I always carry Glocks. Hank Strange, please let everyone know that I carry Glocks all the time. <laughs> 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 no, he, he says he hates Glocks. He says, please don't change my words, Hank Strange. Uh, yeah, we're just going to do the opposite. <laughs> it's opposite. FX57. Eh. I don't know. 5.7. Ammo's too expensive. The gun's kind of cool. But... I like the 5.7. I had one before. I don't have it. I sold yeah. it, but I, I would definitely... Uh... I'm too cheap. But I think that's the problem. I'm too cheap to own a 5.7. Yeah, you know what's funny? Uh, Big Daddy, who puts the Big Daddy in Big Daddy guns, in all of his vehicles, he has 5.7 pistols. That's his... That's like all he carries? Why? Yeah, that's his vehicle gun. Yeah. He's, he's <laughs> and he's out got a bunch guy. of them. He's got a bunch of vehicles. I think he's got like 30-something vehicles. He is bowling out way harder than me. <laughs> so, Richard Hughes, 5.7, yeah. 30 cents a round. Too expensive. 
It's uh the five seven is a nice gun though. Yeah. You know, um, I still don't know why. Why what? Why use why, it? Why 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 would he have that many in his car? That's just he's got stuff that's in all the cars, so that whatever he's driving, he has things oh, on him. Yeah, he has things on him, and then he has stuff that he keeps in the car. <sighs> if I was keeping a gun in the car, so here's a, there's a good question: What would you keep as your like gun, your your car gun? Because I'd go for a rifle. I wouldn't want you know. Oh, this will be a fun conversation. Let me tear your world down, sir. I would go for a rifle over a pistol. I, okay, well, uh, what rifle would you want? What do you drive? And then I'll tell you why you're wrong. That's a very assumptive comment right there. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's see. Right now, is it going to be an SBR? <clears throat> wow. See, I have I have mixed feelings about carrying an SBR in the car. I would. I, I don't know. Is it going to be suppressed? It it was, let's just be uh, okay. So suppressed. Everything. It's going to be uh, not an SBR. Is it going to be an AR? I think I think a good car gun would be like a Tavor with a suppressor. Okay, so let's go with a Tavor with a suppressor. And what kind of vehicle do you drive? Ford Mustang. Okay, where are you going to keep this at? Trunk. Trunk gun. Lost your audio. Yeah, what happened to Patrick? All right, so you're going to keep it in the trunk of your Mustang, uh, presumably in a locked case and or... It, 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 some sort of secured something, right? Yep. Okay. So what is that going to be used for? What's the purpose of the gun? Um, emergency self-defense. Let's throw it out there. Okay. Self-defense in what situation? What, beyond, what, beyond just needing a pistol. Okay. Mass so right in the city. Everybody. So the apocalypse driving. strikes while you're out <laughs> driving. There you go. Yeah, see, now, now we're looking for, like, realistic reasons to have a truck gun. <laughs> so I'll tell you what my truck gun is. My truck gun is a bolt-action 308. I've got a Ruger Gun Sight Scout as my truck gun. Um, and, like, I, I'm actually writing a post for AmmoLan on this currently where I talk about, like, why an AR truck gun is stupid. Um. <laughs> Realistically, let's let's I'm gonna I'm gonna hide my cam for just a second so I can like do something. I'll take your pants off. We don't need. We don't need yeah, oh, I'm, I'm putting oh. them back on. Oh, okay. That sounds like that zippers happen. to me. Oh boy. <laughs> Make sure you guys might want to have your. That's a kitty. She loves her her big uh, mag calibers. Yeah. Three fifty seven mag or forty four mag. It's all she yeah. wants to carry. Uh, Tom out. Gillian says three hundred blackout pistol with earplugs. Other people say that three hundred blackouts good. It, Terribly suppressed 300 blackout, though. Suppressed is the way to go. Yeah. Lots of people. There's a couple of people saying Caltech. Depends you, on the... I don't know. I don't know. I haven't yeah. used the RDB enough. Blazin 1212 says you're wrong on this, Patrick. Okay, you're going to have to tell us which Patrick. Yeah, yeah so everybody's, Patrick. everybody's going up against you right here, man. Yeah, there's two Patricks. Go which Patrick getting, are you talking about, Blazin 1212? He's getting guns out. Babyface baby Patrick, Patrick they, or... They all call me Babyface. Huh? They all call me baby things. They don't call me Patrick. Oh, so. okay. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> oh, they're saying Vanessa Kitty's in bear country, so she carries a big, big honk. No, and if she's in bear country, yeah, absolutely. By all means. I'll tell you what. I will grab that gun. And... Yeah, I think I think that's the more important thing. So mass riots or whatever, I think active shooter would be my thing. First okay, thing so AR. why the hell are you hanging around if there's an active shooter? Uh, Definitely not hanging around. Okay. Talk us through it. You you seem to be very strongly opinionated about this, so let's let's hear it. Talk yeah, us through what you think. No, I, I will. I will. I'm I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Like I'm 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 setting this up here. All right. Uh, I mean, he's putting on gear. I know. He's got his body armor and shit. <laughs> he doesn't no. want to see us a doing steel, like the Rambo steel, right that, now. Like time. From. Well, well, no, 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 no. I, 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 I had to stick my my gun back on me. All right. So, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right, so I'm driving along, yada, yada, yada. Let's say, for example, I've got my... Your audio's breaking up. Too. Yeah, your, your headset's on. Yeah. Is your battery dying on that thing? We can't hear you. Yeah, audio's... Yeah, we, we cannot hear you. All right, now do we hear me? Yep, there you go. All right, there we go. Patrick Carr was always wrong. 
Brian Quick says you're putting on a romper. <laughs> yes. See, I told you. <laughs> good one, good one. Oh, I right. on 77 right, says right. Patrick R is always wrong. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's that's his opinion. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Go um. Ahead. So. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm going to ignore the chat for a second. So the reason I think that a truck gun is just the dumbest idea, like it is a security blanket for, for like gun guys. There's no real application of it. Now, this isn't my opinion alone. Like, um, you guys know who Steve Fisher is from Fish, uh, Sentinel Concepts? Nope. No. Nope. Uh, OG Magpul Dynamics guy. Okay. Like, consults on all kinds of stuff. He's one of the, you know, w one of the guys that, like, actually matters in the industry in my opinion, like there's maybe a dozen that really matter. Um, I would qualify him as one. Um, we had an extended conversation about a truck gun. In my case, my truck gun is a bolt action that sits underneath the back seat of my truck. I don't utilize it for any self-defense role because, because guess what? If I am in my truck and I need to shoot somebody, I'm going to go for my handgun. Like that's going to be my gun that I go for. This is my truck gun. Any AR that I keep in the truck is just some stupid pipe dream because, like, realistically, I'm going to try to get myself out of the situation. I don't want to go, you know, like, shoot the bad guys or whatever the hell it is. Um, like, I would much rather go ahead and just utilize my pistol, get the hell out of Dodge, use the car, which is, like, your biggest, um, you know, asset in those situations, and just get away from the danger. If you have a loved one that you've got to go get, like, cool. But an active sh shooter situation, like, what are you going to do when there's an active shooter situation? Say you're in the mall and an active shooter happens, right? Are you going to walk out of the mall, go to your car, get into the trunk, get your AR, go back into the mall? No, and, don't do like, that. That's stupid. Yeah. Okay, um, so say you're in an active shooter people situation. people that have a family, go home to your family, okay? Exactly. So say you're uh, there's an active shooter and you're pulling up to the mall. Are you going to go to the trunk and get your AR and go inside? No. Well, turn around and get away from the mall. Thank you. Yeah. Give me one viable situation where a truck gun or a trunk gun is useful. So why do you carry a bolt action 308? I think lots of people do it. Like, I think people do it like uh, people do it to have a get home thing, like in case you wind up far away from home. Whatever goes down. I mean, I know the zombie there apocalypse seems crazy, but if something goes down and you have to get home or you wind up out there having to hunt or do whatever it is in order to survive, okay, you brought something with you. There we go. All right. So, and that, that's why I carry a bolt action 308, but we'll get to that. Um, now, Blazon1212 asked, how does this logic apply to the Sutherland shirt shooting? Um, the dude that grabbed the AR and like engaged the active shooter super awesome that he did that that's like way above and beyond for your average uh civilian right um but i'm gonna tell you what me personally i'm le unless my kid and my wife is getting shot at i'm gonna turn my ass away from the gunfire and i'm getting away it's not my job to stop that shooter it's the cop's job to stop the shooter i'm not trained to respond to an active shooter like i would much rather get my ass away from it and get home to my wife and kid which are more important like, yeah, the loss of life is terrible yeah. in the Sutherland Church shooting, but if I've got an option between, like, putting myself in danger and possibly stopping it or getting home to my wife and kid again, I'm going to choose getting home to my wife and kid again. Yeah, I think and, – and I don't think anyone um, should or would fault you for that. I think in that situation, um, that guy – felt like this guy was going after more people that he cared about and he wasn't going to let them do it. And he looked I mean, at those, those were his neighbors and he probably looked at them like, Hey, these are people that fall into the category of I'm going to defend them. And he went out and he defended those people. He took the risk. He probably did. You know, it seemed like his children were older. So maybe he was, he didn't have that much fear, but I know you have to balance these things out. You have to think yeah. about the people who need you. When you get into those situations and if something if something really major is going down and the police are coming and you're also going into that situation, they the police don't know who you are. Um, at the same time, if you, if you think there's just no likelihood of police coming and this person could be coming after you or they're going after people that you do care about. Hey, you know, 
do what you got to do. There you go. Somebody, now, yeah. should a player guitar says a pistol would have helped those churchgoers in Texas. And if you carry a weapon in your car, why run away, stand your ground and fight? Um, okay, so if I've got a, a weapon in my car, that doesn't mean I need to stand my ground and fight. Like, this isn't a pride thing. Um, it has nothing to do with pride or any of that garbage. Like, if you want to take my rifle and fight the active shooter in body armor, go for it, man. Like, have you lost your audio again? Yeah, your audio, your audio went out. Audio. Yeah. Damn it. That, that was like a good tirade there, too. <laughs> your, uh, battery's, your battery's dying. No, uh, dude, Car it's this fucking headset. I hate it. Is it Bluetooth or something? Oh. No, it's oh. like an old Logitech thing. It's always cut in and out. It's just... Oh, okay. That's what it is. Yeah, Um. so Joe Carpenter says, if you're out alone, what the hell do you need a gun for? If I'm out alone, what do I need a gun for? To get uh, well, home safe. No, 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 no. Okay, so I think he's asking why I keep a bolt action 308 in my truck. Oh. Okay. Um, so I travel to uh, Arkansas reasonably often, and I go out into the sticks, man. Like, you know, it's really, really far out in the middle of nowhere. It's like two hours to a major highway. Um, so, like, if I get stuck out there and I need to feed myself or I need to feed my family, I can take game with a bolt action 308. Um, if absolutely necessary, I can defend myself and my family with a bolt action 308. Now I've got a gun sight scout in the truck. So it's a, uh, mag fed 308 and I keep several magazines of 308 in the car. Um, you know, th 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 that's just my, my approach to it. I would rather utilize something that I know I can take game with that I can, um, you know, like get home with rather than, you know, some sort of door kicking bullshit gun. Yeah, and I think that this is this is all relative, right, to the situation that you're in. I mean, no one knows what they're going to do in the moment that something goes down. But I think there are situations where people um, have to fight back. There was something that happened recently somewhere in Florida. I saw that at a mechanics, like a, a car repair place, mechanic shop, and that there was a guy out there just ex executing or trying to execute these people that worked in this place. I think he killed one guy and uh, made one guy paralyzed for life or something like that. But a couple of people that worked in the shop went back after this guy, you know? Uh, I think it really depends on the situation. Maybe, you know, and in their case, it's like, hey, if this guy's coming to you and you're at your place of work and he's coming to you, he's probably not gonna stop unless you stop him. You know, so that's this is one of the things that you have to think about. Th there are, on the flip side of that, some situations that you don't necessarily need to get involved in. Um, well, see, now I think that's the thing that people are missing. Like they're not seeing the big picture here. Like for whatever reason, yeah, there, there was like three or four idiots in the chat that are, are intent on making this a like macho bullshit uh, thing. Like it has nothing to do with if, if I'm a pussy or not, man. Like it's got everything to do with me getting home to my kids and my wife. Like, I don't yeah. understand why that's hard for people to comprehend. Um, I don't know. Is someone, I don't know. I'm trying to look at the chat here while you're talking about, I don't, I don't know who's necessarily challenging that. I think people, um, you have to consider there's a, that. there's a couple people. In oh, there. okay. Do you, yeah, let's have, let's see who's, who's challenging that particular thing. No, yeah. I, call me up. Like, we'll have a conversation about it. And like, I'll explain to you how I don't give a shit what the guy at the corner store is doing. Like, I would much rather get home to my wife and kid. Yeah, um, I think people. I think we're throwing out scenarios here. And one of the things with scenarios, you don't know what you're going to do in a scenario until you're actually in it. Opt out of gun control says, "What if your wife's in a building? And you see a shooter go in." Well, like if I see a shooter entering a building, like I'm close enough to be shot myself, therefore I would be defending myself against that shooter, wouldn't I? Right, right. Yeah, and I think um, I think he said that, fam. I think. Patrick said that family is number one. I mean, if you yes, know, he, I absolutely. think you said if your family is in danger, then you're going to do something about it. Right. Yeah. That's, that's like my family. In immediate is. danger. Yeah. yeah. Um, this is, these are all tough situations. Um, even when you do the shoot or no shoot type of scenarios, it's difficult to think about and all that yeah. kind of stuff. And See, yeah. um, no, I got a one comment earlier. Crispy armaments and access. Crispy asked if I was in the military. Yeah, I was. Uh, shouldn't he be trained to shoot bad guys? Yes, but that's not my job, man. My job is to take care of my family. Yeah. Um, NitroZoo76 says, I agree with Patrick. Nothing wrong with getting home safe. 
it's good that there are people that will take the risk, uh, risk it all though. Absolutely, you know. Um, uh, let's see here. Shut up, player guitar says that the there a reason to have an AR is um, man. I'm trying to figure out what the uh, a pistol wouldn't have helped those churchgoers in Texas. And if you had a carry weapon in your car, why run away, stay in your ground and fight? And then he says, when you have a 45 minute to an hour response time, that's why you have an AR in your car. Uh, I mean, a bolt action three weight is going to be just as applicable in that situation as an AR. Like, but I disagree. I think that a handgun, like a concealed carry handgun, absolutely would have helped in the church shooting. If somebody who could yeah, shoot. Yeah, if anyone, if yeah, they could have fought back. If you're, no matter what happens, if you have something that's separated from your body and you're in one building and someone's coming into that building going after you, you don't know if you're going outside and be, if you're going to have the opportunity to go outside and come back in. Oh, Harry's Holsters is in the chat. Uh, okay. My holster is coming in tomorrow, by the way. I'm super excited. I have a, the MMP that I'm going to carry tomorrow when it comes in. Okay, very good. I just realized that's, he just jumped in the chat. Now you want to chime in? I, he jumped in the chat. I just saw him. Okay, cool. All right. So shout out to him, to Harry's holster in the chat. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Harry, I'm not really sure I'm understanding what you're saying here. If I see a shooter go into a building that my wife is there, you don't have time to grab your truck gun. And BS on Patrick saying he'd be fighting the shooter if you can see him parking lot. I'm not really sure what the hell that means. Um, I don't. You can't. You can't get into hypotheticals. Yeah, I think there's a lot to unpack there. Look, honestly, people, I'm going to tell you, you don't know what you're going to do until you're faced with it, and you have to think about what you were going to do. Um, recently, I went to do. I went to do something, and I wasn't getting. We weren't getting training. We were getting kind of like, you know, like a sampler of what this place that does training can do and um, they did a hostage scenario and Sean that we were talking about earlier from we like shooting he was the hostage and so I had to go into this thing and and they were simulating that it was a like a gas station and I went in there and he was the hostage you know and they were like okay what do you do in this thing and at first I was backing out and then in, in my mind I was I was like backing out and then I was like oh you know I'm gonna try to save him or whatever because <laughs> he's my friend and he's going don't leave me in here Hank don't let me die <laughs> So I went back and I tried to save him and the guys are like, what are you doing? You were backing out. You were doing the right thing. You were getting, you know, you were backing up and getting out of there. Um, why are you hiding your face now? <laughs> Look what Kevin put. <laughs> um, Kevin who? I feel like there's probably enough videos on YouTube. You're not really helping yourself. Uh, what did Kevin put? I don't know. I'll rescue baby face after I take his picture for a meme. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. So, um. Anyway, the thing is, is that, you know, you have to be careful. Like they were saying to me, look, you know, this guy didn't do anything in the, in the scenario that you're in. And if you can get out of it, but it does, if there's an emotional thing happening there for you, whether you know the person or not, who knows what you're going to do in that moment? You know, you might, you, you train and you think about all kinds of things. You don't know what you're going to do in that moment. Um, lots of times you hope you don't even get into those moments. But all these hypotheticals will get crazy. Okay, now now I get now I see what uh, Harry is saying. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm not saying that if I can see the threat that I'm going to be like engaging the threat. I mean, obviously, if I see my wife go into a building and then I see a active shooter heading towards that, my first call is going to be to my wife, tell her to like get the hell out. Uh, you know, like as I'm trying to move towards the building. Like, I, I mean, I don't really know what I would do. I'll be honest, but like, I would like to think that my first phone call would be to my wife. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Um, honestly, I think that the problem with all these scenarios, you don't know what you do until you're there. Most of the time, um, it depends. Also, a lot of what you're going to do depends on you. Every person is not the same, and all the, the systems that work in our brains and our bodies don't operate the same. Some people shut down. Some people go into action. Oh, God. You know, so. The people that shut down are the worst. Yeah. No, not, I mean, like, the big reason, though, for me not having an AR in my truck, because, like, I would love to just have put an AR together and throw, toss it in my truck, because, yeah, you know, I could take a deer with that. Um, but, like, I'm limited on space in my vehicle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think that that's another thing here. Some people carry guns in their in their vehicle. Some people carry a bunch of guns. 
Some people want to limit it. Some people worry about people stealing things and it happens. <laughs> <You're> Sorry. <laughs> what is it cracking seems, you it up? He's just causing trouble in here right now. Kevin is Kevin's starting up some trouble. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know who the hell that is. Louis Vuitton says. No, LV, that's uh, Kevin Dixie's the one that we were showing you on Donks. LV Louis Cypher says, Babyface yeah. has to sleep sometime. And Kevin says, yes, LV, yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> NLC Firearms Channel is Kevin Dixie. Now, Harry Solster, I agree with you. Yeah, no, if I see an active shooter between me and my family, I'm not going to go for my truck gun because, like, I'm going to have a handgun on me. That That's absolutely what I'm getting at is, <laughs> like, Harris. instead of, what are you, driving you know, for? I wonder, when I said earlier, like, you know, the, a bullshit door kicking gun, like, relying on something with a red dot, 30 round mag, and whatever, like, you know, using that as a, an excuse to not train with your handgun and just say, well, I'm just not good with a handgun, like so many people do. Like, I think that that's an oversight. I think that you're spot on there. Like, learn to use a handgun effectively. Like, I know I can hit a, a man sized target out to 135 yards reliably. Uh, yeah, not gonna happen. Not for me. What? But the handgun? I mean, like, handgun to 135 yards is some hot bullshit for me. I can hit a reliably under pressure at maybe at 25. I need a rifle after that. Yeah, I, I mean, like I, I'm, I'm solid. You know, like almost point shooty. Uh, I, I don't know, 25 yards. I'm still point shooty. I, I can, I can point shoot at 25. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, nine millimeter. I, I, Right, regularly shoot at 135, you know, 140 with a nine mil. Yeah, I think, you know, I'll say it again. I think all these things come down to when you're in this scenario. I don't know. It, I'm having yeah. more fun arguing with people, if I'm honest, Tank, than I was uh, talking about me and Morris. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, if we got down to like the root of things, um, yeah, I, I carry a, a bolt action three weight in my truck. Um, again, yes, David, uh, 135 yards with a nine millimeter handgun. So what's uh, so the reason with the the? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Finish your thought there. Sorry. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. No, I, I was just clarifying. Um, no, maybe, maybe not uh, with other people around in an active shooter situation, but I'm I'm confident in my abilities out to about 50 to 75 yards uh, under pressure. Shut up and play your guitar. Yeah, of course. Doesn't every red-blooded American carry an RPK in their car? <laughs> Full auto. Yeah, Jordan Poole says, I was carrying when a store was being robbed I was in. Walked out, not going to kill someone over money. I don't blame you, man. Well, I mean, like, I've, I've had the misfortune of, uh, you know, like, as a civilian pointing a gun at uh, a person more than once. And I, I'm going to tell you what, man, like, I, if I can avoid it for the rest of my life, I will. Yeah. Um, do, 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 do. Music Lover says, if you're going to shoot someone at, um, if, you, if you're shooting someone that far, you are going to get arrested. Hard to claim self-defense. Uh, what? Huh? Wait, what are you talking Music about? Music Lover says, if you're shooting someone that far, you are going to get arrested. Hard to claim it's, self-defense. That's not... That's not the law in my state, though. Like um, the a concealed carry, uh, well, a, a a handgun. What the hell do they call it now? A license to carry holder. Uh, there, there are very specific laws as to what you can shoot uh, somebody over. Uh, if somebody is like you know stealing something out of my truck at night, that is something I can shoot somebody over. Yeah. And be no build by a jury. Like there are very specific things, and that's you know. No, I'm not going to talk about it, David. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. That's just uh, no. I'm not going to be discussing the times that I've had to pull a concealed handgun. Yeah, um, Gorillas and Guns says at 135 yards with a handgun, how do you see the target, the sights covered up? I'm sure. No, so, um, they're like half the size of an Ipsic silhouette, roughly, ish. Mm-hmm. You know, you just kind of put the, the the muzzle of the gun over, hold up, you know, where the head area is, maybe a touch higher, and uh, it'll drop them in there. Yeah. Um. <laughs> okay. This this is just scrolling up real fast. So yeah, it looks like it's uh, crazy. Yeah. There's um. There's a lot of there's a bunch of different comments in here. All of this stuff is you know, 
we can argue every single point side of this. I think it's, that is the point, Hank. That is the point yeah, of this. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. we do want to argue here. I know. I get it. Who, who else? Wanna, I'm gonna. I'm gonna give it uh, Harry's holster. Tell me something you want to argue about. Let's argue. It's, it's fun. <laughs> there you go. There you go. That, yeah, um, I mean, Vanessa Kitty, you, Connecticut, you have to retreat. Someone said in Florida, you have to the grounds. Yeah, we got stand our ground. No yeah. longer retreat. Yeah. And your vehicle is uh, is covered by Castle Dock. Yeah, in Florida, wherever you are, where your feet are planted is your ground. Yep. It's not just your home. It's anywhere that you are. On the boat, in your car, any place. So, um, you know, Safety Harbor Firearms says he's back home. Okay. And drunk. Yeah, probably <laughs> at this know. point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. Okay. So um, let's see here. Do we do we get enough of uh, arguing out of the out of our system on that one? No. You can well, all, I mean, that one, uh, yeah, Patrick. Yeah. Uh, Patrick, tell these guys where to go if they want to continue to argue with you. Please. Oh, you can take this you, you can do it on my Instagram. Like there, there's an yeah. Instagram page right there. You can you can go there and tell me that I'm a dumbass. Uh, tag me in all kinds of memes or whatever. Uh, you know, go for it. Have fun. Yeah. Also, I'm giving away some excess sights, F8 night sights, and a DSG yeah. arms, yeah. CDC holster. So if you don't want to be a douchebag and want to jump in on that contest, then that's probably the better thing to do. Yeah. Here's what I would do. I would go to his to his Instagram, try to win the sights, and argue with him. <laughs> <laughs> Harry's holster asks, like, the other 11 people in the firearms industry that matter. Um, like, no, realistically, people aren't going to know who the hell they are. Um, you know, people that are, I don't know, there's, there's like four really good uh, handgun engineers on the planet, people that are doing, uh, you know, other engineering stuff. There's some subject matter experts that really matter, mm -hmm. you know, but like I don't really want to like put together a list. Oh, is he, what's what's uh, Harry Solster asking here? Um, like, um, who, who are your people? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who, who, who are your other messiahs? I, yeah, I think that's what he's asking. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I'd really have to think about that, man. Like, I don't feel comfortable. Like, whoa. Um, yeah, I don't feel comfortable. Uh, oh, we got Walter on. Yeah, Walt, yeah, it looks like Walter. Yeah, Walter's Walter's like, Walter's yeah. Walter's you can hear me or not. Um, yeah, we got you. The Blazing 12 12. No, man, like, I'm just really tired. Uh, I think there were some really callous comments there, and I just didn't have the patience to deal with them. Yeah. Patrick is too tired to fight with your asses tonight. Unbelievable. Uh, no, Pat no, 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 no. Pat Patrick is not too tired to fight with people. <laughs> Patrick's too tired to give a shit about being nice to people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, someone put a horse head and then the uh, duty emoji. I don't know what those two mean. Oh, oh, I get it now. <laughs> a little slow, a little slow. Horse shit. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not even seeing anything else this dude's posted. <laughs> there it is. Uh, where, Walter, are you there? Uh, on, I'm trying. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, disinformation. <laughs> yeah, he's agreeing. With there's some serious disinformation going on here. Yeah, Joe Carpenter says so. Anybody want to chill and have a drink? <laughs> um, yeah, I want to know. Where drug <laughs> podcasting says TKO five nine three. Uh, Walter what Walter is trying to he's trying to get his video on. You might have to go to your settings, Walter, and turn on your video. I I don't even know what's going on anymore. So. Um, We'll see what's going on there. Uh, oh, hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Oh, there Walter. you go, Walter. There he is. Hey, everybody. We're, we're looking at the... Well, there you go. Why are, okay, yeah. Why were we looking at your boobs? That's what he wants oh, to show off. Well, yeah, go for it. <laughs> you, you guys have fun tonight or what? Um, I think me at the strip club in 20 minutes. <laughs> what? what? At the, table, the VIP table in the back. Blazing 12-12. Yeah, oh. Sure. I, that must. Ah. <laughs> Paps Blue uh, Ribbon. Wait, are you drinking PBR over there? No, no, no. This is okay. Diet Coke. Good. Okay. <laughs> Somebody oh. said Paps Blue Ribbon in the comments. I, I can't That's people are saying what they're drinking. 
I can't honestly say I've ever had any PBR. So. You know what I just thought about? I just realized that there's lots of people watching this hangout and they're just drinking. <laughs> have some I, that's what I do when I watch. <laughs> oh, Walter, you going back for this whipped cream? Wow, Walter's been drinking a good bit. I could tell. And it just froze on that. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Is Walter doing whippets? He's doing. He, oh, he wants pain. He's using whippets. some kind of whipped cream. <laughs> I had to share it with my wife. So. Oh, she came to get some whipped cream. This now. is too entertaining for me. But we don't see that. That I would rather see. I don't want to see you doing the whipped cream. <laughs> I was not invited. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> Can't knock that. I didn't, I didn't mean to pack it. I didn't shoot the camera. <laughs> I didn't mean it. I didn't mean Dry it. fire practice time. Yeah, okay, so you know what? Let us... Uh... Miller Lite. Man, you guys... I don't want to be a snob here, but you guys drink some shitty beer. Oh, no, oh, okay. No, was, Baby was, face is going after people's beer Miller choices. Miller Lite? Pabst Blue Ribbon? Come on, PBR is like the worst. I, I, can't, see the, I can't see the chat. Amazing, but um, Walter does it for the gas. Walter likes huffing the... Up in the nitrous. I had, I had some Samuel Adams tonight. So, see, Sam Adams is good. I'll take that. It's a good beer. Oh, and then you're getting more food and stuff like that. Let's see. Tell me, Louis Cypher says PBR. Uh, <laughs> Dan, oh, Dan, Dan Davis is asking if I prefer the P10C over the 509. But now I can and see. Right it. now, yeah, I kind of do. <laughs> now I can see the chat. My wife helped me out here. So. Okay. See, Vanessa Kitty said Guinness Extra Stout. There you go. That's, That's the real deal. No. That's What's wrong with a Guinness? Guinness is good, man. I don't know. Guinness, yeah, no, Guinness is a good beer. Yeah, Shiner Guinness Bach. extra stout. That's the good stuff. Shiner Bock? I don't know what that is. Shiner Bock is a Texas beer. Oh, never heard of it. Hmm. Yeah. At least I think it is. Shut up and yeah. play your guitar. Says hello, Walt. Hello, everybody. Yeah, and then the real uh, the um, the Alize says Modela Negra. Yeah, Modela Negra. Heineken's good. Cypher, I can drink you under the table. My liver, this is to me. My liver graduated high school before you are twinkle in your daddy's eye. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love it. Yeah, uh, some yeah, mingling people. Okay. Time, so. Walter, do you, Walter, you missed this, so I'll show you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Did, you um, send, um, did, did Will, by any chance, yeah. my son send you the latest uh, baby face um, artwork? Um, the one where he's. The, one with the baby? The baby <laughs> with the guns? Yeah, we yeah. showed that. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, we showed that. So check this out, Walter. Yes, I'm listening. HK Trigger. Oh, 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 okay. Let me, hang on, let me close. Let me, let me hang a second here. HK Trigger in the building. I saw, I saw when you brought that out, so you were, you told me not to talk about it earlier in the day. Because yeah, um, I thought there was an embargo, but there's no embargo on it. Apparently. Exactly. All right, well, we'll have to, um, yeah, we'll have to so, talk the caps, you know? Yeah, we're going to have to put this in a couple things, so there you go. We're taking pictures of the shop today, so. Yeah. That, um. And I'm going to open up my – I haven't talked about my you, tactical walls thing. Behind. You actually have something in there today? Yeah, I have something in there, but I have to be really careful when I open this because I don't have the cutout working. Uh-oh. So the cutout is not going to protect me out. from – Yeah, the gun's going to fall out. Hold on. Let's see here. Thank you. be dead by now. The yeah, intruder I mean, has, has murdered know. you. It's I don't know how the hell this thing works. Your intruder is currently having sex with you. There we go. Body. Okay. Oh, there the, you go. The gun. <laughs> I knew it was going to fall out, so check it out. Oh, cool. That's a 410, right? Yep. So this is oh, a Henry nice. Lever Action 410. Boom! From Henry Rifles, the Lever Action 410 is in the building. So we're going to have to do some stuff with this. Yeah. This cool. just recently came, so shout out to Henry Rifles. Uh, what do you guys think about lever actions out there? Who likes the lever actions? 410, is it... Uh, can you shoot 4570? Or not 4570, 45 long cold, or is it only 410? 45. Um, good question. I have no idea. I'm going to assume <laughs> that it's just a 410. It's uh, just 410? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to say that, but I don't know. Um, Mark it literally it. just came, so I've got to read up on it and do all that, all that stuff with it. But Lever action 410 shotgun. Let's see. Yeah. That'd um, be like an awesome little... Uh, um, like for up in the mountains, if you have like a snake gun, that'd be a sweet little snake yeah. gun. Yeah. Um, and I believe this is the twenty inch one. I think there's two, twenty and twenty four. Yeah. So this there's is the twenty. The twenty is. I don't know. I really like that. Yeah, it's nice. 
I actually so really, we, really we have to. Yeah, we'll have to do some videos on this. I'm a big fan of Henry Henry rifles. Um, not just you know, I love I like what they make, but I also just like that they're just you know real gun guys and pro Second Amendment. If you want to be like so. a pro a pro shooter, you can go out and shoot skeet with the 410 because that is hell of a challenge. Yeah, what's that, Patrick R? So speaking of Henry guns. Uh oh. Everybody, throw your lever action. Do you have any lever actions, babyface? I do actually. You want to see how yeah. ugly it is? I can go grab it from the yeah, safe. Yeah, get one, Walter. On. I know. <laughs> Walter, I know you've got a lever action. Yeah. Let's see what you got. Yeah, Let's yeah. see how many lever actions we can get. You got a couple. All right. What's what's? Okay. Me. All right. So I've got. A plain Jane 22 lever action. Nothing real, real special. A little hexagon uh, uh, barrel. Yeah, it's got the, yeah, octagonal. But. Whoop. What is that on there? What's the, the serial spot? number, sir? Serial number. Patrick, 1983. Yeah. Model, what does it say? Model what? H001T. H001T, okay. Now I've got one for my kid as well. So oh, someone, I, so was this bought for you when you were born? No, man. Uh, actually, I just bought it. I bought uh, one for myself, I bought one for my kid. So mm -hmm. I've got mine, and then I've got uh, serial number Liam 2017. Mm -hmm. uh, so that was pretty awesome. Yeah. You guys ready for this one? This yeah. one's really fancy. You won't see this one at any gun store. It's high, high quality. I mean, pristine condition. Oh, boy. Uh, Western Auto Revolution. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's old school, man. That's old school. Western Auto, back when they sold guns. It's Western a 30, 30 Auto. Manchester. Back when there was a Western Auto. Yeah, it probably, it's probably a Marlin. I don't, I don't know who actually made these. Um, it's missing screws. It is missing bluing. And what <laughs> what what a caliber is it? Thirty thirty Winchester. Thirty thirty. Okay, Western, Western Auto. Auto. What? Revolution. There's a resource. In there. There's like an actual revelation. Resource Sorry, Re revelation. I carry my revolver in single action. Wants to know how many states you, my CCW's license is good in. It's a Florida one. So whichever one's Florida's got what is it? Florida's like, like twenty nine states or something. What do we get a bunch? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's like twenty nine states. Revelation Firearms. It's a. Oh wow, they actually mm. changed. It's a serial number. Walter, where is your lever sense. action, Walter? Uh, so yeah, no, there's a model number. Walter, there, so. where is your lever action, my friend? Model two. Oh five. Okay, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. That um, is a Marlin. Uh, Mossberg. Mossberg. There mm. you go. So it's actually Mossberg that was licensed out, or they, they put the uh, Western Auto name on it. Mm -hmm. And I've never actually shot it, but uh, we'll have to do that at some point. Yeah, we'll have to do some. Uh, so that okay. So is that si that's not side fe feeding that I'm yeah assume. yeah oh, side charge. Oh, oh okay. uh, there you go. It's got there a little lever, little gate. Nice, nice. Okay, the Henrys are tube fed. The Henrys are tube fed. So. Yes. I don't know. I like the side feeding better than the tube feeding. Um, yeah, there's there's lots of people that are like that. They prefer um, side feeding because you could just throw one round in there. Yep. As you're going, so. Um, this is nice and clean. Uh, I don't know if that's a patent issue or whatever. I think I heard that Henry is going to do something side feeding, but I don't. I can't remember whether or not I'm supposed to talk about that. That trigger is terrible. So there you go. Probably, probably not. Yeah, probably not. So okay. you didn't hear me say anything about that. All right. You asked That's Walter got. Look at the size of that hole. <laughs> that's that's a, what she said. That's the 4570. Ooh, that's a nice hole. Oh, that's nice. stainless? That's the Marlin. That's, oh, yeah, that's beautiful. Um, it's kind of a limited edition that uh, Marlin did. Got a, like a 16 and a half inch barrel. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> laminated, the gray color laminated wood. Yeah. That thing is really pretty. I just picked it up. I saw it one year. It shot, and I ordered it. And since then, they haven't done it again. So. <laughs> yeah. 
But that's a good looking gun, man. I like that. Oh yeah. It's cool. Wait, wasn't that wasn't this gun in? Um, yeah, it this was. Is the, this is the gun in Jurassic Park, right? Jurassic World, yes. Yeah, Jurassic World. Yeah, there you go. Do you, do you have the correct sling, Walter? Uh, I have no sling for it, no sir. Oh, you got a movie oh, gun, Walter? Shame. Yeah, you got to get the sling. That's a movie gun. Uh, you really? does it have the? Let me see it. Let me see it. Uh, you have a sight on that? It's the go to the top. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, no, it's, it's not quite right. Yeah, it's supposed to have like a uh, what looks to be an excess sights uh, ghost ring on it, and then he's got a like another scope on it as well. Yeah, that's a nice one, Walter. Very yeah, good looking. It's pretty cool. I, it kind of introduced me to lever guns. So I've got uh, one of these. I've got a Rossi that's a thirty-eight three fifty-seven. Um, a twenty-two. Uh, a twenty-two Henry. Um, nice. It's, a, it's just a general 22, nothing special. And then I got a couple of the Boy Scout rifles for, for the commemorative. Yeah, the, um, the uh, Eagle Scout guns because two sons are Eagle Scouts. And, Was your kids just Eagle Scouts? What? <coughs> Do your yeah. kids are Eagle Scouts? Yeah, Will and, and Spencer, both Eagle Scouts. Wow, good for them. I never finished. But yeah, no. Yeah. Somewhere close. They did. <laughs> didn't. <laughs> um, and then, then I got a Winchester um, lever twenty-two. That's an old one. So I like the old Winchester. Like he's slipping. And I think he's oh, I got one. I got one mm, little what does that mean? Is Novesky slipping? I don't know. Yes, the quality is probably yes, it's slipping. Oh, that, that's my guess is what they're asking. Yeah, but uh, yeah, and I, I I like sent back uppers recently because they don't match my Novesky lower. It changed the like finished process. Okay, someone wants to know if Walter has a fifty um, lever action fifty. Fifty BMG. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, hey, wait. A oh, whoa, whoa! Look at that! Incredible. Look at that, Henry. That's nice. Hell yeah! Walter just brought this one down. This is the. Um, is that a big boy oh, golden golden hundred year Boy Scout rifle? Nice. Oh, no, no, that's twenty-two. That's going to be a golden boy. Yeah, golden boy. That is beautiful. Correct. This one's never been fired, so yeah, that is really cool. Unfortunately, they shiny guns. You can't shoot them, so <laughs> um, it's not my nature to not shoot them, but they're not worth anything once you shoot them. So. Yeah, I, I'm not trying to brag, but I have the best golden boy ever. I know you got the thousand man rifle shoot. Yeah, the one that was in the thousand man shoot. So I didn't get invited to that. Uh, we didn't. I didn't get to go. TFB well, nonsense. No. Yeah, there's some there's some firearm blog stuff. Oh, we got two. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, we got two of those rifles, by the way. I carry my revolver and single action says, "Don't point your Glock at your rhymes with Glock." <laughs> So, I do that all the time, don't you guys? Yeah, and uh, Chris B says I won't own a gun. I can't shoot. You could shoot it. Well, you could shoot Walter it. Won't. But I mean, I have a. For example, I have a um um, um it's called, uh, Ruger did some John Wayne commemorative guns, and I got a Ruger Ruger single action. It's a John Wayne commemorative, and yeah. if you go out and start shooting it. You lose some value. Um, music lover wants to know what Patrick is dry firing. He's on a web page. CZ P ten C man. Yeah. We should all be. We should all be like. Yeah. yeah. Come on, let's do it. Let's... Oh God. Oh God. That hurt. Ow! Yeah. There we go. Okay, cool. You know what? Listen, we've been doing this for, for some time. Let's hold on. Let me put, let me close this thing up. Let's see. What got. Take, put back in it. take that off. There we go. That's how you lock it. I gotta practice unlocking this thing. There we go. That's how you do it. You gotta do it. You gotta push it with authority. You play the guitar on the MTV. Hey. You gotta so check it out. What no, what are you gonna do? You play the guitar on the MTV. Okay. You're working. That's all you do it. You don't know the you don't know the song? No. Play your guitar. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know it. Play your guitar on MTV. I don't know. So, it sounds slightly familiar from the eighties. Store microwave oven. 
Um, custom kitchen delivery. Um, anyway, it's a Dire Straits song. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. That's like me asking you about a Tupac song. <laughs> 904, just put that Dire Straits. Yeah. That's like me asking you, Walter, about a Tupac song. So there you go. Um, all right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So check it out. This gun behind me, Krebs. That's the reminder. This Could is be the, yours. This is well, the KV. Not this one. Not that particular one. Yeah. This one is not going to be yours. But this is the KV 13 from Krebs Custom. Um, it has the A chaotic suppressor from Liberty suppressor on it. The reason why we mention it, mention it is that Krebs Customs has the Krebs Custom raffle that's going on right now. It's for a good cause. Uh, a old customer of Krebs Customs that fell on hard times and had to wind up sending all his guns and stuff like that um, because his wife has cancer. Um, you know, so Krebs decided to put this raffle together and try to help them. And there's a number of guns involved, the KV-13 Mod 2 with the A-Chaotic Suppressor or 3,000 rounds of ammo if you live in a state where you can't have it, as well as a Yugoslavian M90A rifle. Um, you can also win an MB-74 AK-47 receiver, Circle 10, a um, Circle 10 AK accessories. Um, as well as Jim Fuller donated a class where you get to like a personal private one-on-one -on -one AK building class with Jim Fuller in Las Vegas. You just have to get out to Las Vegas, be able to stay somewhere, and I think um, pay for the materials, but he will give you that class for free. That is awesome. Yeah, so if you want to win all these things, it's 20 bucks a ticket. Uh, just search Krebs Custom Raffle on Google or look in the link of the description of this video and you will see it there. Um, we've got like, I don't know, less than 20 hours at this point, probably less than 15 hours or something, I don't know. It's one o'clock tomorrow is the end of this. You know, and, and they will actually come on tomorrow evening with us. They're selling 2,500 tickets and I think they were trying to raise 50,000. Right now they're at 16,640. So that gives you even better odds of winning this. One person, will like you know, you know, one person is not going to win everything. So there's lots of different prizes in here that you can win. So pretty good odds of winning something. If you buy the tickets are twenty bucks. If you buy, if you spend a hundred bucks, you get five tickets, uh, six tickets, excuse me. So there you go. I thought I would remind you guys of that. Uh, we will have Krebs Customs on tomorrow. We will end this, and uh, I'll just encourage you guys to go check that out. I'm trying to help them, you know, here in the final stretch, maybe get to like twenty thousand. Is he so. announcing the winner tomorrow night? Yes, they're coming on tomorrow podcast? night with us. Yes, that's awesome. Yep. So we're going to be announcing that I, tomorrow. I or just go ahead and put it in the box and put my damn name on it. Come yeah. on. Yeah. Do the same <laughs> for me. <laughs> We'll see, Walter. Uh, I already told you guys, if you guys win anything, I call dibs. <laughs> Too much whipped cream, so TKO593 says. Oh, and, that, and that thing. <laughs> <laughs> the more you guys say it, the more he's going to do it. Yeah. It's just like if you harass Patrick, he's <laughs> just going to dry fire more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this only has 15 gallons for two tablespoons. This is like a, you know, okay. the cheap date. Someone say Walter is MTV a cheap date. sledgehammer. Okay, yes. I'm not. Oh, I'm not a cheap date. No, ask you can ask Peggy about that. <laughs> <laughs> she is, but I'm not. I'm a cheap date. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 904 Outdoor says that's donk cream. Donk cream. <laughs> well, you're gonna have to ask Kevin about that. I can't attest to that because I never <laughs> had a donk. So. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, looks like Vanessa Kitty is leaving us. So you know, um, good night. Oh. Thanks for joining us and hanging out with us. All right, so you know what? Let's do the rundown here. We've been going. We've been going for a while. Let's uh, start with the person who came in last. Walter, oh, what's going on? What am I doing? What, what's going on? What's, yeah. uh, what's up with you? Um, um, all the normal stuff, Facebook, Instagram. You saw today we're taking pictures in the shop, uh, trying to get some uh, pictures for a new brochure and stuff like that. Looks uh, super professional. Yeah, Sean, Sean Darren, uh, my friend down here, uh, does photography. And does photography and tanks. You know, that's a good combination. So, <laughs> yeah, he's got lots of tanks, lots of tanks. And stuff, yeah, yeah. So um, we did that today in the shop. Um, tomorrow. Yeah, he does weddings and stuff like that, too. But mostly. You know, <laughs> tanks and weddings. <laughs> commercial, commercial stuff, mostly. Um, in the Florida area here. 
Um, but anyways, um, just to let you know, Hank, I think I might have my barrel issue solved. My barrel issue solved. Your, okay. Your barrel issue? You went to see your doctor? Some of the, some of Did the, you get a shot for your barrel? <laughs> okay, anyways, um, I've been told. <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking about barrels or barrels? Oh, real barrels, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Um, but anyways, yeah, so that's a could be on the way to a, a Yeah, Tango one. Hunter says Viagra. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what works better? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> oh boy. That's all I got to say, man. I'm out. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Let's go to Babyface. <laughs> Babyface, what's going on with you? Blue and a gun. I actually got to go back downstairs, cart it off, because it's currently sitting all dusty and blue. So I'm going to cart it, boil it. Oh, I already boiled it. Cart it and rust it again tonight. So maybe in a couple days, it'll look like a real gun again. Oh, oh, anybody in the chat, if anybody's still listening, actually, uh, if anybody has a link to some blueprints for a Set Me See bending jig. Oh, send yeah, it to me yeah. or get in touch with me. I need to make a, a jig for bending a set me C receiver or a HK receiver. Same thing. Okay. Um, okay. I, I, I've been searching all day and I'm having trouble finding one. So. And Walter, don't you, buy, you don't have one of those? Walter? I don't want to buy the jig. The jig itself is like 280 I've bucks. Been, I've never been a receiver. I'm not that brave. So. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to buy a jig. I want, I want to make one. Especially now that I have the mill, I can mill one out myself. But I need some blueprints or some plans. So if anybody's got something, send it my way. Okay. 904 says, I've got 10 of them. Laugh out loud. Kidding. So he doesn't have them. Okay. All right. So you know what? Let's go to the man right here. Patrick. Dry Ooh. fire Roberts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what's up? Okay, Patrick. What's up? Tell us all the things you have going on. Hit us up one. <laughs> you bastard. You bastard. <laughs> Oh, so everyone's going to do it? Okay, fine. I'm going to get my... Hey, let, me throw, let me throw a name out there. Chuck Connors. Who was Chuck Connors? The Rifleman. Bingo. Bingo. Speaking of lever actions. Yeah. Okay, all seriousness, Patrick. What's going on with you? <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're giving away... Let me make sure that this crap's in focus. Uh, giving away a set of the new F8 sights from Excess Sights. So that's you can enter that over at my Instagram right there. Go over there and, and for people who are for people who are listening and not watching, it is at the Patrick Roberts. At yes. the Patrick Roberts. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, you know, so they're super, super cool. Superfly. Yeah. So in order to enter this, you said go watch the video where you're because I saw that video yeah. where you're messing around with the dog. Yeah, yeah, and a fight with the dog. Um, essentially, you've got to follow my page. You have to follow uh, DSG Arms. You also have to follow Excess Sites and then tag two friends in the comments. Um, uh, so Razor JB you know. is flaming you. He says I'd give those sites away too. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's, that's that's cruel. Don't don't. Yeah, that's not nice. I, I, <laughs> somebody's giving you something. Just just you know, just chill. Yeah. You know. All right. En enough said. Go ahead. Hateful people. Hateful people. <laughs> we know Patrick. Patrick is serious about his accessories. And he's no, I'm about really his... not. Are those for what 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 handgun are you giving him away for, or is it your choice? I mean, what are they? What are they? Uh, their choice. So they've got the choice of a small frame Glock, large frame Glock, uh, Glock forty two, Glock forty three, uh, Smith and Wesson M M P shield, M MP, M P full size and compact, uh, F N five hundred nine X D, and uh, Walther P P S. I think. That's cool. Okay. Yeah. Uh, by the way, shut up and play your guitar, Babyface says, call Sarko in Pennsylvania. For a planning, for a jig building? I'll get in touch. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let me message him. Yeah, message, message him. There you go. Okay, so what else do you have going on, Patrick? Uh, video stuff. Videos, okay. Uh, I know you're still working. Uh, are you still working on the, um, yeah, your torture test is like, where? where is yeah. it? What point is that? 
Uh, yeah, I've published 1,100 rounds. Uh, that's the last update you guys got. Okay. Uh, um, you know, like I said, I'm at about 1,600 rounds on the P10C. Uh, pretty darn happy with it so far. I'm going to say this is, uh, it might switch me from being a Glock guy. I'm not sure yet. Oh, see how okay. The aftermarket so, reacts. The, so the see P10C how. is winning you over? Uh, I don't know if it's winning me over. It's, um, I don't know. I don't. I don't know if I'd say it's winning me over yet. Okay. Yeah, I, I've got, I've got a lot of clocks, you know, and and one one day I'll do a video about why the Glock is the perfect gun. But you know, mm -hmm. I'm really tired. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Anyway. Yeah. No. So we've got more of that coming up. Uh, I did a thousand rounds of uh, ball and dummy drill. Uh, I don't flinch. Uh, hardly at all any longer. <laughs> um, it was it was it was pretty pretty painstaking and grueling. So I've got a video on that coming up. Video review on the DSG Arm CVC holster that's going to be coming out. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else uh, and a couple of others I think. But uh, yeah, that's kind of what's going on. Uh, we do have a four thousand yard attempt at a world record coming up. Uh, I'll be doing that uh, December 9th through 12th out in like the middle of nowhere, New Mexico. Uh, so we're going to be taking a Ritter and Stark SX-1 in 338 Lapua Mag and attempting 4,000 yards with uh, factory ammunition. Okay, cool. Uh, I think you were discussing that with Dimitri the other day, right? I was, yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Cool. All right. So, and that's coming up when? Uh, that'll be December 9th through uh, 11th, I think, are the dates. So 10th and 11th are the official, like, attempts. That the, Those will be the days that we attempt the 4,000-yard shots. And it, to be clear, everyone, I'm not anywhere near skilled enough of a shooter to pull something off like that. Like, that's actually, that's really, really tough to do. Um, so, like, there, there are pro shooters. Uh, Snipers Hide Frank's going to be there. Um, and there's a bunch of other ones. Okay. All right. Very cool. Okay, anyone else have anything to add before I call it quits on this uh, this show tonight? Okay, awesome. Call it quits. But anyway, right. bye-bye. <laughs> Where did he go yeah. now? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm one, one last Oh, my gosh. Fast, yes. <laughs> one last thing. Don't forget about this Krebs Custom thing. If you can't really um, like financially get involved in it, please share. We have some posts out on social media. Please share those because this is the final push. Everything's over tomorrow at one, and we want to try to get those numbers up as much as we possibly, possibly can. Uh, let me go in here and see what number we're at right now. We're at 16,640 at this time. So, okay, guys, um, I think that's uh -huh. pretty much pretty much it. I want to thank everyone in the chat for hanging out with us, everyone that yeah. sent questions, shared, thumbs up, all that kind of good stuff. Shout out to all the people that support us. That would be this guy right here, Safety Harbor Firearms. Andrew's Custom Leather, Rand CLP, and of course, Big Daddy Guns. Yeah. And to all the people who support us on Patreon, it's Patreon slash Hank Strange. Thank you very much. We, uh, we appreciate your support. I'm Hank Strange on behalf of Babyface P, Patrick, R, Walter, everyone out there. Peace. We're out of here. 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 We're out of